Hey guys, welcome to another edition of, uh, I guess we're calling it Retro Gaming. I, I, I don't know. Our, we, we really haven't come up with a name for it yet, so we'll, we'll, just, we'll just say that. But joining me as, as always, we've got uh, my co-host here. We've got Mr. Glenn Plamento, fresh out of the How's hospital. How's it going, everyone? <laughs> yes. So if I pass out, fall over, uh, don't call 911. They'll hear me upstairs. They'll get me an ambulance. <laughs> this is what happens when you get old. And it's just, what are you going to do? Well, you know, I'm glad I'm glad you were able to to join here. We were trying to figure out what day we were going to do the show, and I know last week you got hung up with some stuff. I got busy last week, but we want to continue doing this show and keep the show going. But um, there's some cool stuff to talk about today. Um, for those that don't know, At Games brought out a 3.0.4 update, right? That uh, brings some really cool new features that we're going to talk about for the Legends yep. Arcade. Um, since the last show, I actually got a Legends Ultimate cabinet sitting here in the arcade. And uh, there's been some talk about a new pinball machine that's virtual. Yeah, this is what, this is what happens. You know, I, I, I can't go to the hospital. I can't be out of the, anything for a day. I come out and the groups are blowing up. Uh, there's a new company uh, that came out of nowhere, as far as I could tell, called Toy Circus. And they're coming out with well, we kind of thought it would have been an arcade one-up type of thing because it's like a three-quarter sized virtual pinball machine. You know, not, a, not a physical pinball machine, but virtual. What that means is there is actually an LCD panel for the play field. So you can have multiple different types of uh, games on there. And P-Dubs, right now he's in, he's in our, our uh, distro chat right now. They started the official uh, Facebook group for uh, this machine. And I think that's something we're going to probably talk quite a bit about here. Um, I'm excited about it. Um, I've been working on a virtual pinball machine for a long time. I mean, if anyone has ever touched this, virtual pin mame uh, is kind of a, a hellish thing to set up. It is not an easy thing at all. But when you get it working, it's it's really, really nice. And we actually were talking about this on our on our premiere episode. We'll kind of talk about what something that Arcade 1-Up may come out with or something along those lines. And I'm like, you know, it's really not going to be super easy to come out with something in that kind of price range. Uh, between the LCD panels and so forth. And I have no problem eating crow at all because this company is now coming out with this. And it looks like it's a 24-inch LCD screen uh, and a solid uh, scoreboard in the back. It does have digital displays in the background. But the first machine I saw was Haunted House and Black Hole, which are two of my favorite classic, classic machines. And this particular one, as far as I could tell, has about 15 different uh, virtual pinball machines on it. Uh, buddy of mine, Mad Little Pixels, actually already did a video, and P Dubs has actually already got a video out there as well on it. Uh, I'm still trying to recover from uh, my <laughs> my element, so I haven't got the chance to do anything yet. But from what I've seen so far, you do have a physical plunger on there, which is mm -hmm. kind of great. You don't want to have a button; you want to actually pull something back and have it go. That's what my wife says. So that's the best part. Nice. She said this is the best it part. It is. All the it is. Back. The next thing people always worry about is, you know, in the old machines. You used to be able to bang it around, get the ball, knock it around a little bit on the on the school board uh, or, the, or the play field, and then eventually put sensors in there, mercury switches. So if you hit it too hard, it would tilt the machine and you lose your ball. But if you look on the machine below your, your, your left and right uh, flippers, there's actually a nudge. Your left and right hit the table, and on the front, there's also a front nudge. So they, that's kind of cool. Um, and actually, it's a nice-looking little unit. It looks like it's got steel or metal legs, and it's... The build time is about 15 to 20 minutes. So it's probably three separate pieces. Your main LCD panel, your back display panel, your school board, and your legs. And now, of course, this thing's only been advertised for probably two days. So there's not a lot of information on that. But I do know that in the official Facebook group that was started, uh, again, p Dubs can go into this a little bit more in the, in the distro chat there, is that the company itself is also engaged. And that's kind of... Like what I've been trying to do, and now with Tech Buzz, what we're really trying to do is get these companies engaged with the community. Because if you want your product to succeed, we're the ones who have to buy it. And if we're going to buy it, we want certain things. And hopefully, the feedback between all these different areas, Facebook, us, and the companies, we can mold a nice little product. Again, for $399, I mean, that's a pretty sweet spot because most virtual pinball machines, honestly, start about $2,000. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to put this up against an actual virtual pinball machine like I wouldn't put an arcade one up or an arcade machine against a true arcade machine. Yeah, You got to take it for what it's there for. Now, in the advertisement, they're showing uh, this pinball machine with little kids, you know, probably, you know, 
10, 12 year old kids, but their grandparents are there too. And I'm still into that group. I have no problem it being a kid's toy if it's nice enough or if it's moddable, which well, is something that I might mean, come down the pike as well. Glenn, let's face it though, the, the arcade one ups are are essentially for all intents and purposes, they're a toy. They're not they're not like actual arcades. I mean, that's the whole reason people are buying them. They don't want the the full size maintenance that comes with it. They don't want these right. machines because they don't have the room for them. And Right. Honestly, a pinball machine, I don't have the room for a full-size pinball. Would I like one? Oh, absolutely, just like everybody else. But three ninety nine, dollars it falls right into that price point of, like, the arcade one-ups, the it, Legends right, Ultimate. Right, sweet spot. It, it really yep. is. I think it's I think it's it's going to be good. And from the pictures, I don't know if you were seeing that as I was posting it here, but in the, the Toy Shock Digital Pinball fan page, I'm going to say that so that way you guys can find it. They show, Glenn, they show a bunch of different arcades. Yep that they're going to be coming with um, layouts of the machine. <laughs> so, there, so there's a different... There, I don't know if it's going to be like that at launch, because I know you can pre-order them right now on Walmart.com. Right. Uh, right. Pre-order for the December 1st, shipping on the 6th. So there's a, there's a bunch of great-looking Right, and uh, they're, ones. They're, they're nice-looking machines. The only thing that catches my eye, and it's caught a lot of other people's eye, is the is the bezel around that play field there. Yeah. Um. Probably first thing I would do is get that black spray painted, or re or just re put some black just to reduce it. It's too large, it's just too noticeable around that yeah. top. You know, they put some graphics on it, uh, yeah. maybe arcade graphics or something along those lines can make a decal to go over it. It's just too thick. Again, we're talking about a three ninety nine pinball machine, but that would cost a lot more. But you, like you said, I, I agree with you. Let's let's paint it black, throw graphics on it. But I think I know why they did that. Again, I'm just. I, we haven't had any hands on with it, and nobody from the company has said this is why we did it. But Glenn, think Little about it. Hands getting around that. Yep. Well, you think about it when you have people over. Uh, if you smoke or if you drink, where do you think they want to put that? On their kid's head. That's what we have. <laughs> no, but I mean, in, in all seriousness, I think not that's on, not on the nice equipment. No, not in the game. The no, style. but that's what people do. Style. I've seen people with arcade one ups setting their drinks right on top of the 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 covers, plexiglass, right yeah. on the plexiglass, and that's why I'd encourage people to get the plexiglass. But I think that may be may again. I'm surmising maybe why they did that, but but I agree it needs it needs to be black. Not right. Not so I'm I'm dying to see what the monitor because another thing I'm thinking about already is. There is obviously some leeway on, on that bezel over there. So a larger monitor would probably be one of the first months that would happen within that area that I would think of if it's an HDMI or maybe even if ETA Prime gets his hands on one to find out what kind of display it is, that we can get a module to put a secondary screen in there. So I'm already starting to think about the mod potential. But again, even like the arcade one-ups or the ad games, that's half the fun. I mean, buying them stock is great. Yeah. But adding your own personal touches to it makes it that much nicer. And again, yeah. we haven't even heard we haven't heard sound effects from this machine yet, the speaker quality. We don't know anything. But it's exciting because it's something we've been asking for for a number of years yep. and kind of thought if it wasn't going to be our arcade one up, it was going to be kind of a hard thing to come about. Let's see. I mean December is not that far off. They, I mean they're, they're kind of coming in under mm -hmm. the radar and bam, could be shipping December first. This could be something really, really nice and take off. Yeah. Or it could be something that's totally the other side of the coin. Where people are gonna get it? Oh my God, this thing is no good at all. And thankfully, it's with Walmart, you'd be able to send it back. But time will tell. Less than a month. Yeah, and and uh, P Dub says in the in the uh, chat here, he says that uh, almost 300 members are ready in less than a day. So it just shows the demand, Glenn, of what that people want pinball. You know, I I mentioned it in one of the arcade one up uh, groups, and I said, you know, it would be really cool if we could do something um like this at around that price point and you know the naysayers came out they're like no 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 you can't do it and, yeah, and i get I it i was one of them for the quality one of them. for the quality i get it like ralph i think on one of his videos and i could be wrong if ralph's watching this in rerun you could classify it or clarify it in the chat but i believe he spent probably close to two thousand dollars on the build that he was right. doing uh and, and right that was full size correct yeah, and, and not only that, a, a buddy of mine, uh, Dwayne Ringo, who has the MAME Arcade and More uh, Facebook group, he built a 7-inch. Uh, and I have one here. I can go grab it in a little bit. But I have a 7-inch virtual pinball machine. And he, that was a pain to build. I mean, that little thing alone cost a couple hundred bucks for the screen. The computer needed to run it. 
the uh, the charging circuits, the woodworking. I, I honestly think just the parts alone was probably close to two hundred dollars just in the parts, and then labor on top of that. So when you're looking at something like a three ninety nine for something already built yeah. to perfection, that's not a bad deal. I'm still betting on a Black Friday sale on this thing. I don't know, totally guessing, but that's something I would see possibly coming out even you know twenty dollars off, something along those lines. But it's just it's really catching my attention, and I think as more people hear about this, I think that Facebook group is going to go through the roof with uh, with people because virtual pinball machine groups are are popular. Yes, and I and I want to put this out there: if the company happens to watch this, get in touch with Glenn and I with some specs that we can talk about Absolutely. on this show, so we kind of know what. Again, we're guessing, we're reading materials, we're looking at materials that you guys have provided publicly. But we'd really like to have that spec sheet of what we can expect with this machine, uh, you know, in terms of what are all the buttons that are there, you know, like how many games are going to be on each console. I know you said you think it's like 20 of them. Um, I, I think it was like 15. I, but yeah, the, the big some... thing is with, with these pinball machines is the play mechanics, you know, the, mm-hmm. the, the way the ball. That's why they usually require very powerful machines. So my guess is these are recreations, almost like Super Impulse. They took the, the, the board and programmed brand it specifically to their hardware but the ball mechanics people are going to pick that apart i mean that's one of the yeah. things that's that's pinball how that ball goes i know it's designed for little kids but as adults could be buying it too i'm telling you it's going to happen how that ball handles and how the machine handles the mechanics is going to be very important exactly now we've got some folks on youtube sorry i was answering them uh some folks on youtube are asking like is this pre-recorded it says it's pre-recorded no, I don't know why YouTube's telling you it's pre-recorded. It's not pre-recorded. We're live. We're we're here right now with this episode too. You can see the date there. <laughs> we just wanted to let you know we are live, and we're watching YouTube. We're watching Facebook. We're watching Discord chat. So we're watch- uh, I don't have Twitch pulled up. So if you're on Twitch, you're kind of out of luck. You got to go to one of the the, the other chats. So uh, Discord would be the best way to go. Yeah, you guys, you guys are there. So we're talking right now about the new the new company, and I did play the video earlier on in, in the show here. But um, I'll pull it up again and that you guys can go to this website if you really want to see. They don't have a lot of information on it, but uh, the, the website is toyshock.com. Um, and, and, and Luke is saying you're just partially live. That's what he says. <laughs> well, so, I am still recovering. Yeah. So, so they don't really I, – like I was looking around the website. They don't really have a lot of information. They just have this video here. And like you said, their official Facebook page. Now, I want to say the Facebook page of the company. Only like two days ago when I when I first found it, liked it, had like 127 likes on it. Um, now, I know somebody else found the group, found this as well yesterday, and they created a group, which was really cool. And, you know, they brought us in. Beat me to the punch. Beat me to the punch. What yeah. are you, you going to do? And so, so P Dub was all over it, and a, a couple other folks were all over it, and they they jumped in, and so now it's it's growing. Uh, so yep, and it's official. It's officially sanctioned by the company. Yes. So it's nice to see. Without anybody, it's just like word of mouth. The the communities were like, "Yes, we want pinball. We want pinball." So, um, I'm hoping to get my hands on this. I I might pre-order it here. We'll see. Um, you know, it, it's coming. My son just kind of lit up over there. He was just like, "Really?" Uh, so <laughs> so we're gonna hopefully get something like that, but I don't well, know. Pin, pinball is just something, I mean, I'm, I'm 50, you know, I'm not a young guy and I did start off with, you know, pinball machines and like haunted house. I definitely remember going, believe it or not at a, a carnival, they had a tent at a carnival and they had pinball machines set up in there. And I played that one and actually had a space evaders uh, pinball and they're fun. I mean, there, there is actually a, um, a skill to playing pinball. It's not just you hit a flipper and, and that's it. There's actually skill involved with it. So I'm really excited to see how this thing turns out. Yeah, so um, some of the guys here in the YouTube chat, uh, Kevin the Human, he says, Hey, guys, uh, got the Legends Ultimate uh, Arcade Machine after seeing yours and in the other videos. I really like it. So we appreciate that. That's Again, that's why any of the content creators out there, guys that are doing live shows, videos, all those guys, that's why we do it, to kind of show you guys maybe why you should get it or maybe why yep. you should just save your money. And also let people know why we live our lives in our basement. We're not creepy. <laughs> you know, we're, we're, we're doing this. We're playing our games. Yes, yes. I'm married with kids, so I I have uh, that excuse going for me. So my wife kind of, I said, you know, my son. I said, Daniel, Daniel, and I will play it. She's like, oh, okay. Well, if you guys are gonna play, it, go ahead and get it. So I, I don't really get a lot of argument. So he's over there smiling and laughing, so because he knows. 
Uh, <laughs> so, Glenn, I mean, without surmising anymore, there's really nothing we could say until we get our hands on it or we get some more specifications on it. Right. Uh, but it looks promising. It does. And I, and I think, again, by the way it's being advertised, you hit it uh, a nail on the head before that this is primarily targeted towards kids. Then there's our big kids that we want these things to. Um, so we have to really see what kind of wood they're using. You know, is it similar to an arcade one up or net games or is it even thinner? I heard the weight is about 60, 65 pounds. So I'm kind of guessing it's probably gonna be the same type of material in there. And that's also a good weight. I mean, yeah. with the metal legs on there, rubber feet, it shouldn't slide around. Um, the screen from in the video looks like the resolution is pretty good. It's just we have to really see how the sound effects work and how the, the ball mechanics work. That's so it's always been key with virtual pinball requiring a very powerful processor to handle all that rendering. Yeah, absolutely. So it'll be it'll be really, really interesting. Um, I know there's a V Gotchman in the chat room here on on YouTube has said, hey, Glenn. Is your trackball out of stock? I can't find it on Amazon anywhere. Yes, it is currently out of stock. Or here's here's this whole story. So we have the the spinner, which is in stock. We have the Tron stick, which is in stock. The trackball, we uh, we're making some changes to it, some modifications to it. Um, my partner is actually flying over from China to the states, so we expect to have that uh, hopefully the next two weeks to have them over here. Um, he's going to send me a revised version. This is our version two trackball. Um, he hasn't even told me all the changes he's made to it yet, but we, I do know that we've made some improvements to how the ball spins. It's spun, spun pretty well before, but some people still felt it was still a little loud. So we're trying to make some adjustments to it. So I expect it to be before the end of November is is over to have the uh, the trackball back uh, back in stock. Awesome, awesome. Well, so there you go, guys. You have that. Uh information there for you from from yeah because you don't want to be without that spinner that spinner is great and the the ball and that was that was actually how i first found you because i was looking for like many others the ball and the tr and the uh spinner were not the greatest on the 12 and one but i but it, i tolerated it right i i used right. It. It, it, it it worked it, it worked. definitely did work um but my son he was just like on tempest he's like i can't get around it fast enough with the spinner and I went on YouTube and I was looking for people that were modding it. And, and I came across that. I'm like, well, shoot, I'm going to help out a fellow YouTuber. And I watched your video. I'm like, well, that's easy enough to install. So I bought, I bought both of them. I, I put it in there. Easy peasy. I mean, honestly, it was, it was it great. It is an actually funny thing that um, Greg uh, from Greg's game room, he's another YouTuber. He actually had the, the second generation spinner from arcade one up. It's their our free spinning unit, but he had their 12 in one cabinet. And the spinner that he got was designed for the asteroid unit. It didn't work. So first he tried mod, he tried cutting the wires and trying to putting it into 12 and in one and it didn't work. So he actually reached out to me and I'm like, uh, he goes, Glenn, will you, would your 12 and board make this work? I'm like, I'm going to be honest, Greg, I never, I never got one from them. So I don't know. So he, he purchased one of my 12 and one boards. And sure enough, the arcade one up uh, modified enhanced spinner had to go through my 12 and one board to actually work in their uh, 12 and one machine. But my understanding is they're about ready to release their trackball slash spinner combination unit. Hmm. So once they do that, you purchase that for it. And I, and I, again, I have no problem with them doing that. I'm not here to, to make money. And actually, I haven't made any money on any of these products. Any money been made since they've gone to make it a new one. And if the company comes up with one that's good, or if the company just reach out and says, Glenn, we're making one, would you mind? I have no problem not making it. These are only coming out because there was a need and I was able to help people out and, and do it. Um, so if arcade one up starts making these and starts improving their machines, whether these are not needed, that's cool. It's all good. But if they do release things where people want enhancements, I'm also here to try and help if I can. So Joseph shorts in the Facebook chat also asks, he said, will there be an upgrade, uh, for the legends arcade cabinet with your, with your spin ball? Actually, uh, truth be told, I've been talking to, um, uh, at games, uh, got about six or seven months now. And I actually had gotten one of their prototype boards and I was working on some things, but <clears throat> got to remember, I'm, you know, I do work. I'm a single father. I got a family. They take presence, got my YouTube channel. I got the Facebook groups, which take a ton of time. Uh, there's Wait. hygiene. Some, you got to shower sometimes. You sound some like me. <laughs> you have to work for a living. I don't know. I don't, I don't understand why. I don't understand why. So the, the, the short answer is I've been, talk with them for a while i've been talking through them for quite some time and i have a very good rapport with them 
and I'm working with them. So the, the, the long answer to that very short question is yes, we're going to be making uh, my Tron joystick, spinners, steering wheels, Star Wars yoke, all these different devices will be available at some point to the, uh, to the at games unit. Now remember this thing's only been out for you know about a month itself. So it's going to take some time because with me, we're not a company. We're just a couple of guys who have context in the industry, who work in the industry, making these things. And unfortunately, I lost a week. Uh, this weekend or this week I was off, I was supposed to be working on my Kickstarter video for that Star Wars yoke, but I was hospitalized all week. So that didn't happen. So I'm delayed a little bit on that. So barring issues, yes, things will definitely start coming out for it. Uh, the Tron will probably be one of the first things coming out for it because Tron's already on there. Mm -hmm. And you definitely want to have that stick with the spinner on there to play it. That'll be interesting. I know we've we've kind of talked about the different things with the joystick as well uh, with that. But um, let's kind of shift gears a little bit. Let's talk about at games here and about the, the new update that they put out for those that don't know. And, and I before we get into showing any of that, um, I've been reading in some of the groups, the forums, Glenn, that people after updating to the 3.0.4 update, some people stated that their add-on thumb drive was not recognizing certain ROMs that had to do with Williams games. And then also some people had issues where their Wi-Fi was not, was not connecting. And I, my, my unit's hardwired. So right. I haven't experienced that. I know you said you just got it on today. I did. So now what's the, your take? The previous, the previous build, when I installed the last firmware update, that's when my Wi-Fi got wonky. My Wi-Fi was rock steady. The last firmware update, it was dropping in and out. I had to go hardline. But after I upgraded uh, a little about an hour or two ago to the latest firmware, my Wi-Fi got stable again. So that I think that problem's been at least resolved for me. Um, I haven't tried any Williams games yet, so I'll have to find out about that. But I will say that they did add uh, like the loading menu. So when you exit out of an add-on game, instead of just yep. like it's froze, it does say loading. And it seems to go quicker. I mean, I was waiting five or six seconds before. Now it takes maybe two, so I don't know if it's with every ROM, but that seemed better. But my Wi-Fi for sure seems more stable. Well, that's we can take a look at that right now. Actually, if my son, if you want to go to the switch the shot to your uh, to the arcade, so we can see your screen, and just hit the arcade. Go ahead, hit the arcade. We have double producers here, so uh, my son's <laughs> going to bring this up here. Yeah, he does a good job. All right, so now we want you to exit out of. Can you exit out of Pac-Man? Hit the menu. And what we're going to do is, yep, quit the game. So it'll, it'll pop up here. All right, so what we want you to do is we want you to go down. So that's the add-on menu. So you can see how it has that loading button, Glenn. Um, go ahead yep. and go into yep. one of the other games, Daniel, that are right there in the add-on. I don't care. Pick one that you want to go into right there and just go into it so we can see. We want to see the loading time. So if you want to click on it, hit the A button. Okay, so it's going into the, the, the game here. And I do like that they added the option for pixel perfect video, stretch, normal, full screen. That's, again, not everyone's going to want to do those things. Yeah. But I'd rather have the option there and not use it than want to have an option and not have it available. Oh, I, yeah, I totally agree with that. I think that's, that's, that's wise in, in that aspect of things. So let's go to this shot so we can actually so there we're, we go. We're seeing it. Okay. So go ahead and exit out of that so we can see the loading screen and see how quick it goes. So he's going to exit out. So it gives you the loading. And usually by right. the time the screen adjusts, it's about two to three seconds and boom, you're done. Yeah, that's that's much improved. I was sometimes five or six seconds. So they definitely streamlined that. And again, for people on the fence about the iCane machine, again, it's not it's not perfect. None of these machines are perfect. But. If you're looking for a jack of all trades, you want to be able to play with your friends. You have two controls built in. You got a trackball. You got spinners. Uh, it's full size. It's got a nice screen in it. They're doing firmware updates on it. You can bring your own games. You can load your own games. There's a couple of emulators that are working right now. I'm, I'm really hoping. I'm hoping that the Turbo Graphics 16 emulator works because there's some great games on there. Mm. Um, it does work. Just a, the start button doesn't work. So some so, people, some people are saying uh, V V Gatch, and he's saying that. There's a new bug that when you exit an add-on game, it will load back up into the game and keep you in stuck in a loop. Now, I haven't seen that. Now, you saw him go into two games. Yep. That did happen. I did see that partially once. I did. I was in a game. I was actually in Donkey Kong. I escaped, 
And when I escaped, it, it blinked for a second. It went right back into Donkey Kong. But when I escaped again, I was out. I think it's stuck in a loop. But it did it did hop in. I thought maybe I hit the button by accident. Okay. But I didn't think I did. By him saying that now, I kind of agree that okay. I did see that happen. But it didn't loop me. Fortunately, I haven't seen that yet. And you saw he just left Pac-Man and Marble Madness. And we didn't have that problem. So one of the other things that they at games added to this was the ability for children that you could lock them out of certain areas of certain types of games. So uh, what I'm going to have you do, Daniel, I'm going to have you go up to the settings, go all the way to the top menu, and go over to the settings. That's right, just hit A button there. Okay, go over to settings. Okay, now if you see the third option, go down, hit down with your... And it's the third option right there. Right there. Click on that. Man, don't let you out to my son. It'll lock me out of all my games. <laughs> so right here, this is a, a child-proof area that they added for um, preventing them from playing bad games. And they give you a list, well, or non, non-child non games, I should say. Right. Um, right. So and that, that's nice. Again, it's nice. nice to have that there for people who want to have that. It's, there's nothing wrong with that. It's good. And one of the other things I thought was really cool, Daniel, if you want to hit the B to go back. So, Glenn, you remember when we first had to pair our dongles? If you go over, Daniel, to the controller and click on that. Yep, click on the controller. So, before, we just had a list for our, right. for our dongles. Now, we actually have some much artwork. Nicer. Yeah, much nicer. So, I, I, think that's, I think that's really good that they, they enabled that. And that's, again, this is a, one of those perfect showcases of why the community talk to the companies is such a good thing because they get real time feedback. Now, listen to a marketing company saying, Oh, we, oh, we did a survey of 4,000 people and this is what they wanted. You're talking to the people who you're, you really are targeting, the real demographics and real time feedback. And this is what we get. They get firm updates and they, they implement it. It's great. Now, there was one other thing that they did in this. Um, and I'm, I'm blanking right off the top of my head here. Does anybody want to remind me? I can we go back out to the main menu? I, I was the add ons. It was it was uh, where, where it was loading. It was this, and I forget what the other thing is. I did a video on it, and I can't even remember what the other. The one thing was. I I tried, and I still don't have working. I wish they'll fix is a USB keyboard. Um, the like if you're putting your Wi-Fi, like my my Wi-Fi security key is humongous. It's huge. Putting a keyboard in and typing it, we like better. But the keyboard is not working as a true keyboard. It, it, the escape key works, and it's like mapped to their system. It'd be nice to put a setting in there in the next form update to have an actual USB keyboard connect and work, especially when you're loading your uh, like MAME or other bring your own type of games through your own yep. emulator. Being able to hit tab and get into those menus right now, you can't do that. So yep. I hope that games is listening once again yep. and they implement USB keyboard support. So there is one other thing, and and thank you for the chat room. I did find it on my YouTube video. I had to go to my YouTube video. Aspect ratio. So, yeah, Daniel, yeah. if you want to navigate back out to the games that are already, you I guess you can do it on any of them. But go, let's go back to the game list. Um, so go over to all the way to the left, and um, I'm gonna put him full screen so I can actually see what's going on here. Go actually to the. And I'm games. really glad they added this. This is great. Yeah, and go just go up to where uh, I guess right there. Click there. And then go into one of the games that are in here. Oh, I go to the top list. Yep, go into all. And then just click on uh, grab one of the games, which whichever one you want to grab. Just not tic tac toe. Yeah, just not. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and uh, hit the A button. There you go. go. In. There he's going in there. He's doing a good job. He all is. Right. He's he's a pr producer from the other side. All right. Okay, so Daniel, before you do anything, hit the menu button. So now if you look at the bottom there, the second to last option, it says center. If you go down, go ahead, Display Daniel. Display mode. Display mode, right there. Go one more, right there. Now hit left. So there it made it a little bit wider. Hit left again. There it stretches it full screen. Yep. And some people would hate that, but you know what? There are times I don't mind having the screen stretch and just have the whole play field, especially if two people are there at the same time. It's really neat that they did this, and I, I love it. It's a great thing to add. Well, it, and like I said in my video, Glenn, honestly, you know, if you get kids, like my son, 
He's not a video guy yet. I'm working on it. But <laughs> he's not going to care. He wants it to fill the whole screen. So he'll play right. Aladdin stretch. He'll play a console. He don't, he's not going to care. Right. It's only the purists. And there's nothing wrong with that. There are purists, but give the option to other people. And that's what they did. Better to have and not use than not have it and want to use. I mean, that's, that's my motto. Yeah. I mean, before we didn't have any options, right? We had to do this or we were kind of stuck with bezel art, which I've been doing. I've been doing right. some bezel and it art. it looks nice. Yeah, it does. It does look nice. So he's going to play, I guess it looks like Aladdin right now, right? Yep, he's playing Aladdin. So he's going to... No? Oh, it... no, it's not Aladdin. It's... Like, Aladdin doesn't... Is it a courtroom? <laughs> oh, I didn't see it. I'm sorry. The bezel looked like Aladdin a little bit. Okay. I think it's 64 Street or something like yeah, that. Yeah, 64 yeah. Street. That was one that we had fun yeah. with. Him and I, we did, we did that game. Um, so, I mean, honestly, Glenn, I think they did. I think they did a really good job. Rumor is there's another update coming next week, which is going to have a screensaver that I've been reading yep, in the forums. Been, yep, that's something that again, a lot of people in the community, uh, myself included, wanted to see. A lot of times, you want to leave these, these machines running. Now, on the like the arcade one ups, you already you probably selected a game and it'll run in its you know in its mode. But sometimes you want to see a bunch of different games. And that's a perfect example since it's designed to have multiple, multiple machines on there to have a screensaver running in the background. Now, it'd be interesting to see if it's just stills or it's got have some video feeds. Because I know there were, um, I mean, back I'm going back a ways. There was like MAME screensavers where you can use screenshots or play some video footage of the game. Now I'm asking for a lot. But I just think it's nice they're adding it. Again, they're just listening to what we want. And adding it, and that's a great thing. Yeah, and 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 some of the guys in the chat room they're saying, well, Aladdin's not bad stretch, and it really isn't. I mean, from a from a video, like I deal with video all the time. I don't want to stretch it out, but it's like it doesn't matter if you have little kids that come over; they're not going to care. You could make it full screen if they don't see black bars. It's not old to them, right? Because we we grew up with black bars. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just how it is. It's, but um. All in all, like they said uh, in the in the other one, David says David Alexander says Glenn will make the At Games Ultimate Arcade better. He's putting a lot well, of pressure I, on you. I, I hope so. <laughs> he is. He is. And you know, and and at, to be honest, At Games has talked to me a lot as well. They want they want to, and that's the, that's what's really great about them is that they want these enhancements. They want me to make these things for their machine. They don't want their machine locked down. They do, really do want the community to make add-ons for it. They don't want it to be left alone. They want you guys to personalize it. They want new controllers for it. They want these things added to it. And I think that's, again, you know, At Games had a uh, had a rocky history with mm -hmm. a lot of people. Yeah. And I think right now they, they are saying, listen, new slate, we're starting over, and I'm willing to give them that start. And they're proving it so far. I mean, everything they said they were going to do, they've done so far. The quality's been really good. Um, now, again, there have been, I think, one or two people heard, you know, it didn't work out of the box or it was a power supply problem. That that happens with anything. I mean, you go buy a brand new car. That's why you have lemon laws. You go buy a piece of furniture. The piece is broke. There's always going to be one. That doesn't mean the whole machine is no good if you show one or two that are bad. Um, again, we'll find out more after the Christmas season. So I'm assuming all of these machines will sell a lot more over the holidays, not just us people buying them immediately. And that's when you really find out how they're holding up and how well the customer service is. And I think both sides of the coin, Arcade 1UP has really stepped up their customer service. They, they had a lot of growing pains, but they took the challenge and they've been improving it. Mm -hmm. At Games as well, they contacted me um, uh, earlier in the week. They said, listen, make sure you post our our uh, our uh, email address here because we're here to help. If people have an issue, they want to hear from them. So both these companies are trying to do that. So that's good. But as far as I can tell, honestly, these machines are good, and At Games is really looking forward to having people mod it. Not just me, other people. I know, like, RK Graphics has been making artwork designs for it, and um, as maybe ETA Prime or other people start getting into the guts of the of the emulator, hopefully we can get uh, more uh, emulators working sooner rather than later. I also think um, when you brought up Arcade 1UP, one, one, one of the things that I have to say with them I think is their biggest weakness right now is their quality assurance. People are getting some some limited edition cabinets that are coming broken or or cracked, and and I understand that it's FedEx, but but they can fix that by packaging the things a little bit better, 
the other the other issue that I have, and and I bought in a few jo uh, joystick replacements for like my Final Fight cabinet because when I got it, I figured it was it would be faster than going through the warranty replacement. What is it, fifteen bucks for a joystick? So I was like, well, right, I'll just buy it. And uh, it took almost three weeks to get this joystick, and I think that's a big issue right now with them where they are not getting you parts fast enough. I mean, some of these guys are getting mad. They've got cabinets that have been sitting four or five weeks and right. they can't play them. And so now they're selling them for right. parts for people. That's one thing that I well, think that that, they need that, to fix. You're right. And that's, that's something that has plagued them since the beginning. And not to defend them in any way, shape, or form, but all these stuff is pretty much manufactured in China. And a lot of the, the part depots are in China. They probably should have a small depot here, maybe some supplies. But right now, I know pretty much everything comes in shipments overseas. Um, but yeah, I've definitely seen horror stories. People waited, you know, the screen went out. They waited two, three months uh, to do it. Now, <clears throat> I know it's policy. They, you know, they ask you not to bring it back to the place you purchased it. And sometimes you can't, like with a special edition Capcom, you know, right. those came uh, mail only. But if you put it in a Walmart, I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. I would go back to the place and I would I agree. exchange it. I would. I Even would. when it says do not do it, if I if I got something and it dead out of the box, and I'm going to wait more than a day, which you're going to. I would take it back to the company uh, where I purchased it for for replacement and have them deal with that part of it. But the special editions, that's a whole another ball of wax. And um, I, I'm sure okay, one up is uh, is is listening, but I I just know from the way the companies are set up that that stuff does come from China, as needed, because when you stock stuff, you have to have a place to keep it, and that costs money when you have to keep it there. I mean, I'm on Amazon and my stuff sitting on Amazon, they charge me a sitting fee for stuff that's there and it's not cheap. Yeah. So I can understand both sides of the coin, but ultimately it comes down to the customer. If the customer's not happy, they're going to come onto the forums, onto YouTube, and they're going to voice their opinion when they're in right to do so. And that will hurt them a little bit. So hopefully they'll, they'll find a way to tease the way out of yep. that box they're kind of in right now. And let's talk about this for a second because we've been seeing this a lot in in the different forums. They they've got this the community and community we're talking to you right now. You have this mentality that it's arcade one up versus uh at games with the legends arcade. That's not that's not the way it is. And and you know, if we can say this because there's so many groups out there, don't go in the other groups if the arcade one up people don't want you posting about at games. Um Listen, I have both. I, I think they're both great. My kids like both. I am partial a little bit to the Legends Ultimate only because of the, the internet connectivity, but it's a feature that's in that that differs from the arcade one-ups. I'm not going to take all my arcade one-ups and sell them. I mean, you're talking about the person that maybe, the demographic, Glenn, that maybe they only have room for one arcade, and the Legends Ultimate fits that need, whereas people that want to build an arcade in their basement like I have, and I've got 11 machines sitting here, Hope, probably going to be more. Um, you, you have that option, right? Right. That's that's what we talked about also in our in our premiere episode, and I've talked about it many many times that that it's, it can't be one versus the other. They're not really targeted at the same demographic. But also, maybe some people don't know this that you know I do have official forums for both. I have an uh, an at games official forum and arcade one up official forum. So I'm kind of on a very tight rope with with the end users on both sides. Mm -hmm. They, they want to like sometimes lynch each other over the over the fence there, <laughs> and there's really there's really no need for it. They are really designed for two different types of people, and sometimes both. Like you have both, I have both. There are a lot of people that will. The there's definitely room for both, and to be quite honest, be lucky that you do have both because it's that type of diversity that breeds innovation. Yep, breeds. Cost breeds improvements in the machines. If there was no competition, there'd be no reason to really improve it. They'd be, they'd be fine as it is. But now you have someone else building something else, someone else coming out with something else. Now we have virtual pinball machines coming out. Maybe someone else will do this well. That's what's going to make the consumer, us, the winners out of all this. If they build something that's good, good quality, good games, they're going to sell it. Win win for everybody. So uh, the other thing, Glenn, I thought we could talk about here. Um, is with the with the Steam integration in the arcades uh, in the Legends Arc Ultimate cabinet, um, some people might have saw my video where I did the Killer Instinct, the new version of Killer Instinct, 
uh, playing on the at games. I was not streaming that from a PC to the game. That was all done, installed on the built-in Legend server, playing. My son's over there clapping because he loves the Killer Instinct game. Um, only because he whoops my butt on it all the time. Um, so <laughs> he's giving me the loser sign now. Um, so, <laughs> so that was done, and I know Cool Toy was playing it on a special server. So they're doing tests right. on one a, a feature that's coming, right? A feature that they're going to implement where you could stream it from your own PC if it's powerful enough to the Legends right. game. And 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 what I want to say with this, Glenn, is everybody at the beginning was all about like, oh, at games just wants your money. They just want to charge you, you know, a dollar for usage. At the time, that was the only way they knew how to do this. But now, right. if that was true, they wouldn't give you this feature to be able to stream it from your PC right. at full frames to Legends Ultimate. I mean, Ralph did a video where I guess you can do it, but he, like he said, it's not very good frame rate. But they're working on it so you can right. get that, right? Right. And the, the beautiful thing about this is, again, they're giving you options. If That's you right. have a machine powerful enough to do this, they're going to give you the option to do that. If you have an old 1980s computer like me, an Amiga, that's not going to work. So you can then use their server. And there's a cost associated for that. Now, I still think that the cost for a dollar, what was it? Uh, was it, I forgot, $10 an hour, $1 an hour? I don't it's remember a dollar, anymore. It's a dollar, it dollar an hour for Steam, yeah. A dollar, a dollar an hour. Yeah. So I still think that might be a little high for an hour. But if, if you wanted to play that game and you were incapable of doing it any other way, maybe you're okay with that. But they're giving you an option. You can use your own machine if you have it and you're capable. If not, we're offering you a server at a fee. And I think that's totally fair. And that's totally, I think, on a, on a good merit on their side. Well, that's what I'm, I think you, you made a point with saying they want you to do this stuff. They want you to get involved. And and I can't stress enough. I mean, out of all the, and I've dealt with Arcade 1UP. I've dealt with some of the other companies. These guys have been the most responsive. I mean, how often do you get the the CEO of the company tuning into your videos and checking it out and leaving comments saying he likes your videos, keep it up? Um, just kind of rallying behind the community, I think it's pretty awesome. And and the fact that most of these guys that are doing videos, um, they want to see it. They want to push their limits. And, you know, like we talked about Ralph right. and Cool Toy and, and P-Dub, all, the, all you, yourself, me, we've all been just trying to do whatever we can to give the community options um, for this now i've got a question for you because you've been doing this with roms on on the internet for quite some time you've probably seen it in in different postings on 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 facebook and even some of the forums there's always people asking questions about where do you get your box art I, i've gotten it every day since i've done the video where i have the 3d box art now on my arcade uh, my legends arcade they want to know and i end up telling people in pm only because I've been told that you're really not supposed to say that publicly. You shouldn't. You shouldn't, because technically, it's still some of it, or the majority, still copyrighted materials. I mean, this is all that very gray area. When we get into anything we're talking about with loading your own games and the artwork, technically, that stuff is still copyrighted. Um, there's a couple that are not. I know, like Vectrex, it's a, you know, it's a game from 1982. They released the ROMs and everything about that to the community. So if you want to load some Vetrex games on your machine, you're welcome to do that. Uh, and, and in MAME, there's Robbie Roto. Uh, which is, as far as I know, the only arcade game that was given back to the community. It's yours. You can do what you want with it. Technically, everything else is still copyrighted. Uh, now, there's, there's that gray area. You know, if you purchase Asteroids you know, from Atari, you kind of have a license for it, but it's not really the arcade one. Yeah. It gets to be a very gray area. Now, there may come a time where these companies may, you know, Nintendo is, is infamous. I mean, absolutely infamous for this, that if you have their game or their artwork, they, they will come after you, shut you down, shut your channel down. Uh, I know a lot of YouTubers that happen to, and they, because of that, they won't touch anything Nintendo. Um, they got really bad for a while, and then they kind of backed off a little bit, but now they've kind of come back at it again, mostly at the ROM sites now, which is now making it almost impossible. Not completely, but a little harder to actually get games. Um, and again, it's it's their it's their intellectual property. They're completely within their right to do so. Mm -hmm. uh, the community comes down to on the other side of the corner. You know, I probably put enough money in to buy fifty Donkey Kong machines <laughs> back in his day, and there's no way to actually get the arcade game. I mean, if you if Nintendo was to come out with a three quarter scale, you know, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Junior, Donkey Kong Three, they would sell like a gajillion of them. Uh, but my understanding is they may not have the complete license themselves for it because mm -hmm. there was 
it's, it's kind of murky with Donkey Kong. That's why that one's been so hard to uh, to nail down. But that's why you shouldn't. I mean, that's why even in my groups, if people try and post links to those yeah. things, I have to shut it down because Facebook or, or YouTube will literally shut me down and ban me because those companies will go after them. So you have to be well, very careful with that. Thing. This, just Google's your friend, though. You Google right. something, you'll find anything. The reason I brought that up is because, like I said, I've been dealing with it this week. And some of the responses that I've gotten from people were I've asked other people and they refuse to help me as if they have some kind of secret. And, and I tried to explain to them in a, in a private message, the reason is not because they're being snobbish and they don't want to help you, is because the legality right. behind it. So Absolutely. That, that's why I wanted to talk about it here so people understand. It's If you go to Glenn and you message him like, Glenn, where are you getting your ROMs from? And Glenn doesn't answer you. It's not that Glenn's being snobbish. It's the fact that there's a legality behind it. So this is all at your own risk. We're not condoning or we're not telling you to go grab ROMs and do this type of stuff. But I, I just wanted right. to kind of put that out there because like I said, I got a lot of messages this week about, Hey, can you help me? And, and I'm all about helping people. I'll help you, but you have to do it off the record, the right so way. to speak. Yeah. Right. Well, that's why I like, you know, with the arcade one-ups, I love having like this Astros machine. I mean, that's one of my favorite games, space invaders. I am ecstatic. They're officially licensed. I purchased them myself and I love having them. It, that's, just sometimes it's hard to get them or it's impossible. Some companies like Exidy, um, Cinemaware, all these companies are gone. You never know even who even has the copyright on them anymore, let alone be able to get them. So like I said, it's, it's a very murky area, but I will say is Google's your friend. Uh, it's better just to do a little research that way because trust me, it's not that hard. It will take a little bit, but it's not that hard. But to ask anyone else for them, they're probably not going to answer it again. Like you said, it's not being snobbish. It's just that legally, you know, hands off. Got to be. Well, that's kind of why I wanted to put that out there. I, I, I really didn't want, I, you know, I told some people we were going to be doing a live show, and I said, listen, we'll address it because you, you're just better off, like I think Ralph said it in here, you're just better off not talking about it. So that's why if your post gets deleted, if something like that happens, don't right. take offense to it and go to another group and, and, and bash them. Again, this is this is kind of, <laughs> it's it sounds simple, but, Again, sometimes you have to explain this when, when you have something like this going on. So that's why I thought now would be a good time to talk about it and, and kind of explain this. So, um, but all in all, Glenn, the last, the last two weeks, um, we're waiting for Arcade 1-Up to come out with something. Any, any word on the revamp of the Karate Champ, which is now going to be the Burger Time cabinet? Have you heard anything? Right. I, I know some people said first quarter 2020. Have you heard anything as to uh, a defecto? Well, that's another funny story. You know, that was Karate Champ was supposed to come out with Burger Time in it. And then I'll never forget when I was I was talking to Rerez and he's like, why'd they do that? You know, it should be, you know, Burger Time. That's the game, blah, blah, blah. And I reached out to um, uh, Scott, who is CEO of uh, of Arcade One Up. And I said, you know, Rerez said this and I kind of agree. I mean, Karate Champ was OK. It was a, you know, for its time, it was a, a pretty staple of a game, Karate Champ. But it was nowhere near what Burger Time was. And he goes, well, to be honest, Karate Champ was my personal favorite game, so I simply chose Karate Champ. But so many people had said that to him that he actually nixed the Karate Champ machine, and he's changing it into Burger Time. And if you actually look at it, almost like the Star Wars cabinet, it's not their generic cabinet. It's styled a little bit more towards the way the machine was, like the hat in, uh, in Burger Time would be on the machine. So most I've heard, again, is about first first quarter. That's pretty much all I heard from that as well. Uh, it's basically the exact same machine, just the, the sides are different. The artwork's a little bit different. And they changed the default game, you know, to come up with the uh, Burger Time over Karate Champ. But if you look at the control scheme, it's still a Karate Champ uh, control scheme on there. Well, and, and that's one of the games, like, I really want the Star Wars, but I've really kind of, I, I have a lot of Star Wars action figures that are still in the box that are over on the other side of the studio and the arcade and uh i've been collecting a uh, big darth vader fan so i've been collecting a long time but that's I, what we need why would not they come out with a darth vader film you had to have read uh dark lord the rise, the rise of darth vader to read that uh no i didn't read it no oh all right first of all it's a great book go out right now and either read the book or get the audio book dark lord the rise of darth vader and you know disney's they've been killing me with these last three films killing me <laughs> 
just come out with this movie. That, it could be a trilogy. That's three films of Vader right there that we should have got with the prequels anyway. Yep. Give me Darth Vader. That's what I want. I, I agree Thanks. with you. I have like the official full scale Ruby's authentic Darth Vader costume that I wear. I've worn it uh, meet and greets and, and, and things like that. But I, I wanted one to kind of set off to the side, not next to my other cabinets, but kind of over there where my Star Wars stuff is. But I just have to do so much maneuvering with these couches. I told my wife, I guess we're going to lose one of the couches. She's like, they got recliners built in. You're not getting rid of them. So Burger Time is one of my favorite next to Pac-Man of, of the retro games. So, I you know, I'm trying to like... That's also on your, is that on the uh, the Ultimate Legends? It is on the, oh, I have every version on the Ultimate. I yeah. made sure of that. <laughs> I go all the way back to the Atari 2600 version too, because I mean, that's it's just the way you played it, you know, when the, when everything was like a square. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it actually, it was so simple back then, but actually it was still fun, uh, to be honest. I, like 2600, I still love it. It's so simple, but sometimes it's that simple gameplay that's that's better, sometimes. Oh yeah, absolutely. And uh I, I mean I know I know for a fact that um some of these some of these games like even Pac Man, like I've gotten I've gotten going and my son's looking at it like that that's not Pac Man, you know? Um so like he's used to it a, a different way. So I think we have a caller calling in here. All right. I'm just waiting to see. Uh I'm not sure if the video i'm not getting any video or audio from the person so if they can hear us you may have to retry that again and add your video and audio so i'll drop you off and then just try to come back in um if we can do that that's the only that's the only thing about uh doing this live on air and that's fine that's fine i think everybody will be excited when this person comes on so that's that's all right we'll we'll kind of we'll leave yeah, we'll wait we'll leave him in suspense but we'll time so this is how we spend our Friday nights. <laughs> exactly. So arcade one up the, the new burger time one, hopefully they haven't announced anything else, but probably CES. I'm thinking in January, right. that's when they're going to, they're going to, they're going right. to announce all the big. Right. Shadu. And I always like to say is I think people will be excited. I can't go say more than that. Um, I, I made promises, but I will say that I think people will be excited with the things coming out at the CES from arcade one up. Well, it'll be interesting to see. That's for sure, because um, you know, I, I, I just what at what point do you say, well, now I really have not enough room. What, what where am I gonna put this stuff? Well, that's I gotta start stacking them. I think. I mean, that's the three quarters. You could probably put one on top of another and get a ladder and play. That's. <laughs> I think I gotta start doing that next. Either that, or I put them in the center of the room and uh, <laughs> you know, put them back to back or something like that, right? <laughs> Well, it's that's another good thing, just seeing how people been, have been putting their machines in. And the back-to-back -back doesn't actually look too bad. Like in the middle of the room, just run them right down the center, and you can double them up and put them around the sides. Um, there's, you, hey, if you can get them in your house, the wife lets you do it, a guy will find a way. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like I said, I'm going to try, like even now with the pinballs, man, I'm going to end up with like them. Uh, I'm going to end up with them in, in other, all these other rooms, you know what I mean? Like. She's going to kill well, me. And I agree. And that's why these smaller ones are good. You can get four or five of these small ones in where maybe one or two would fit in normally. So the, people always took these small ones as a negative, but it's actually a positive, especially when it comes to space. Yeah, I, I think it'll be something. I, I mean, how many how many of you guys out there are really looking forward to getting 20 cabinets? I mean, is that something that you're going to do? Do you have the room for it? I mean, I'm sitting here. I have a huge basement. My my house is over 3,000 square feet, and my basement, I, I have three floors if you count the basement, um, but my basement is, I have this room, I have a music room, I have a laundry room, I have a full bathroom down here. I mean, it's, 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 a, big, it's a big area. So I've got my studio on one side of it and like a third of it, and then I've got all the arcades running down the wall, Glenn, like literally. Um, here, here, here's just an example you guys can see, like going right down the side, right? And that's only some of them. The other three are up here, but you'd see all kinds of cameras and stuff in the way. But, you know, and then I've got my console TV over there with, like, all the retro consoles as well as the, the PS4 and, and the Xbox One. So I'm running out of room, Glenn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, oh, I, I ran know. out of room. I ran out a while ago. I got the basement already packed. I got my theater room now being taken care of over here. 
I have a room upstairs that's already taken care of. But you know what? I'll find room. Always will. <laughs> you don't need a refrigerator. You go out to eat. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if that would fly too well with my wife, though. I think she would end up. Um... Yeah, that would probably not be good. I don't think <laughs> she'd be like, "What?" So I don't know. It's one of those things where um, I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. Uh, right. I'm. I'm assuming we're gonna have. I know people are probably gonna ask. Probably gonna be. I would say three cabinets. I think that would be fair to say that that's what's going to be coming. I mean, that's what they've been, they've been releasing three cabinets at a shot um, when they're coming out with them. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, like I said, at CES burger time is like the, the, the main daddy. And then whatever other ones rumors have right. been NBA jam with the same setup as the Ninja Turtles. That was something that uh, I've seen rumors all over the internet with um, that was an, and I also heard Glenn, I've heard Tron. And I'm not getting you to divulge your information. I'm just saying I've heard those are the three big cabinets that are going to be coming in, in January in CES. So I'd personally like to see a Double Dragon trilogy cabinet, honestly. That's what I'd like to see. That's just me. That would actually be pretty good. I was, I was never really into Double Dragon in the arcades. I did like it on the Sega Master System. That's where I, I actually played it on. But I was, I was never really into, into the arcades. But a lot of people really have good uh, nostalgia for Double Dragon for sure. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I I don't know. I'm a big I I like I like the beat 'em ups. Anybody that watches streams when I go live, I'm I'm a big fan. Only because now my son's old enough to play video games, and I enjoy I enjoy playing beat 'em ups like Fight or Fight, the Turtles. A lot of people are like, well, why do you, you know? Once you beat the Turtles, you're kind of dumb with it. And and then you have like 64th Street, which is he's playing Wreck It Ralph right now, I believe. Um. Oh, fix it, Felix! Right here, he's playing. Right over there. there, you go. Sorry, um, but he's he's playing that over there. But but again, you know, we like to play the beat 'em ups, the 64th Street, and that was probably the first game we played on the Legends. And it's just something him and I can play. We can help each other out while getting through it. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't I don't know. It's good father son time. My son and I will yep. play uh, Metal Slug on the Ike games. We we play that, and uh, it's fun. I mean, it's fun when, you, when you're a kid, enjoy something that you do. It's one of those rare bonding moments you get when they're not on Fortnite or yep. Minecraft. Bubble, bubble, bobbles, bubble, bobbles, good as well. What we'll do right now, Glenn, uh, while we're waiting for our guests to try to get in here um, to see if he can get in a little bit, let's let's wrap the show. But keep the keep the post like keep it for we'll keep a post show going, so I could stop the recording and actually have a. Um, a decent one hour video for YouTube or something. Oh, ooh, that'll be our last time. We were at two hours. Well, we went two right? hours last time, but we can keep the live feed going. So nobody go anywhere. But we just want to kind of wrap this up because we want to give everybody a reason as to why you would want to uh, join us when we're live. Uh, I think that would be, I think that would be good. So um, again, I don't know, Glenn, if we're going to do this a Friday, if we're going to do this a Saturday, I, I, I don't know, but, it just seems... We're going to try and keep it weekly. You know, we did, last week was just a bad week, uh, weekend. But we, we, we do want to try and do it weekly if we can. And we'll try and bring up some topics of that week uh, in the episode. If not, we can just talk about whatever. Whatever you guys want to talk about in the chat, let us know and we'll discuss it. Okay, wait. But before oh, we... before we now. Wait, before we close out... Oh, we got there, him. There's a guy. I, I don't know. Ralph, do you... Do you this this guy named dun, Ralph. Dun, dun. <laughs> He's the party crasher. Hey guys. <laughs> you know going? you know his son his son is beating you up right now on the arcade uh, the arcade games machine right now. <laughs> Actually, I got to go pick him up soon, so I can't I can't be on very long. But uh, thank you for inviting me for a couple minutes. Yeah, we we wanted to give you a chance to talk a little bit real quick, and I'm not going to kill the till the the video yet. Um, obviously, you've seen this pinball. We're going to go back to this pinball thing for a little bit. Um, what's your take? Obviously we have no specs on it. We have nothing to go off of except a little yeah. 30 second video. Do you think this is a good move on, on the part because of the price point, the three quarter size, uh, because I alluded to, you have like a $2,000 unit, I think. 
that you put together? Yeah, so I've, I've, yeah, I've had a couple of different ones over the years. You know, the one that I liked the most that gave me the best experience was a company that's way more expensive than that. Obviously, it was a company called VP Cabs. It was actually yeah. on a uh, Shark Tank. Yeah, I remember them. Yeah, th- th- their stuff's still around, um, but it's really expensive. So, I mean, um, I. It'll be interesting. I'm a little skeptical, but I mean, from first glance, uh, with the games, it looks like it's running on it. Um, I mean, it could be kind of cool. I mean, I'm 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 going to be optim, oh, I guess, cautiously optimistic, right? I think it could be kind of cool. The only thing that I would say that makes it that throws me off a bit is that usually you have the metal border, you know, that's over the screen, and it's it's usually just like a border. It's not. It doesn't go in so much. So right. I I like that they're trying to get that style element there because that looks cool, but I feel like it's going to throw people off when you're looking at it, but you know, that's, that's one of those simple things, right? Mm-hmm. Hit it, hit that's, it with some, that's what modding's black. all about Ralph. <laughs> hit it with some flat black paint and you're good that's, to go. That's it. Or a bigger screen. Maybe we can get a bigger screen in there if we can get into the interface. Somebody, yeah, actually, that, that somebody actually commented yeah. earlier on in this, that they said, isn't the screen on this about the exact same size as the legends ultimate screen. And that, that does make, that does make sense. Inch. Is it 24? Yeah, I thought it was 32. No, 24 no, inch. Yeah, it's 20. It's they advertise it as 24.5, but yeah, it's pretty much. So I'm it's sure even it's probably smaller. 24, yeah. So it's even smaller than the, the, the Legends Arcade. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I'm looking at that's, it right but now. That's not I guess bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Mm-hmm. I think it'll be fun. I mean, you know what? It's going to be fun regardless. I think it'll be fun and, and we'll see. I'm sure there'll be a whole bunch of opportunities to make improvements to it. Right. And maybe they'll be like at games and, and arcade one up and listen to the community and continue to develop it. But I heard, I heard there are some other companies trying to get into this game too, of the mini pinball, you know, mini virtual pinballs. So yeah, maybe I, I, I've heard that it's just difficult as, as Ralph will tell you, the virtual pinball is surprisingly harder to emulate than the arcade machines because yeah. of all the ball dynamics and 3d. So this is interesting that this is starting and I'm dying to see where it goes and where, where it ends up. Yeah, me too. Me too. I, I'm, I think it'll be really neat. It'll just be, see, we'll see, uh, you know, if more competitors jump in, I think it will put some pressure. But the one thing that I've noticed from just playing with these in the past is if you don't have the right processing speed and GPUs, the only thing that can be real distracting is that the ball has too much lag that can yeah. kind of ruin the experience for you. That's the only thing I've seen that, that can really throw it off. So I'm sure they, I'm sure they would, you know, they've probably got that down if, if they're going to release it as a product. I hope so. Well, I think I think it'll be really good, um, at least, you know, and, and if people understand and have the expectation that, hey, this is a toy. I mean, uh, dare I say it? I know I probably catch a lot of flack because I even said that about the arcade one ups. But it, I mean, it's fair to say it is. It's not what you have as a two thousand dollar virtual pinball. It, it's it's a toy. <laughs> it really yeah. is. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it, it looks really cool. So, I mean it'll be you know it's just like anything else right i think arcade one up i think they put in a decent amount of effort for the the for the version or rev one cabinets and then i don't know i i have this thing in my mind and i don't know if i'm right about this but i have this thing in my mind that they i don't think they realized how interested people would be mm-hmm. and then they went oh my gosh we have something here let's listen and make it better so right. they, they, this like this company may not put out all the stops in this version one but if they see that people are really interested maybe they'll start you know make those improvements but i mean at first glance the video it, it looks pretty cool so i mean hey for 400 dollars for a virtual pinball that's amazing if they even have that remotely right even 50 percent right that's pretty amazing right uh, and, for that and golf i think just hit it on the head with that that these companies when they first come out with the version one they're testing the waters i mean we know what we want but that's a company who's spending thousands tens of thousands or sometimes millions of dollars they need to really test the water to see if the product they're putting out is even really wanted and when it takes off like rk one up did they absolutely if you look at the original uh advertising for it as well the arcade one up won the tech toy of right. the year award it was it was a toy we just kind of lifted it up from there and they realized hey we can add a little better this a little better that and now you raised it up to a different level and people will spend that kind of money. And I agree with Ralph. I think this company may, this is the first generation, see how it turns out. And if it pans out and it sells well, we'll see a generation two even better. Yeah. Be- before um, before yeah. we before you got to jump, Ralph, I, I do want to get you and Glenn's uh, thought on, on this. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed and saw in some of the, I, I've been kind of following some of these threads about QVC and, and the Home Shopping Network putting out 
Uh, the, see, they're laughing already because they know where I'm going to go with this. <laughs> There's a lot of disgruntled people that bought the limited Marvel cabinet, and they're furious because they like the one on the Home Shopping Network better. What what what's your take on that? Uh, we'll, we'll we'll go with Ralph. We'll get you go first. Well, uh, I heard the 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 barrage of <laughs> feedback with the with MK two, so I'm gonna guess you're gonna get a lot of those same complaints. I mean, I get it. I I get that they're making the improvements, and I think I, I don't know. I, I come from a technical background where I you know sell technology, so version one of anything, right? It's 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 like you said, they're they're getting they're trying to figure out is there a market for it? Do we have the right features? And then they fine tune it. And unfortunately, when you're when you're doing rev one of anything, it's going to improve. So I just think sometimes it's hard for people to swallow that. So I can see if I'd be upset, I, you know, I'd be a little upset, but at the same time, technology, it happens in technology, right? It's always going to get better. And so version one of anything, this happens, right? I, I don't fall arcade one up for it. They just kind of want to make the product better. And there's a whole new set of customers coming in that don't even know. They never even saw the version one right. products, so, you know? So that's my take on it. I, I, it's not their fault. It's just, they're trying to evolve and make the product better. Glenn. Yeah, he, you know, he's, he's right. I mean, whenever you buy something like these, if you're an early adopter, you have to expect you are an early adopter and, if the product is doing well, there's going to be improvements made later on down the road. So you have two options. You can be an early adopter and accept that, uh, which most of us tend to do, or you can wait and see what happens. But most of the time, you want this so bad, you don't want to wait. Um, and again, you can't fall. Wait, Glenn, we want to play games, Glenn. We can't wait. <laughs> no, we cannot wait. We can't we wait. We have no patience. We just want to hey, play. Hey, listen, I will be happy <laughs> At, uh, listen, Arcade One Up. I will be happy just release in your store the PCB that is for that Pac Man that has the four games instead of the instead of the two. I'll swap my PCB. I'll be a happy camper. Don't make me buy a new. Yeah, you know, we'll put a pie you know, in there for you. Get a lot more than that. You know, uh, Glenn. I don't know if you've ever had conversations with with Arcade One Up on this, but one thing I I was actually talking to a buddy of mine, and he goes, well. He asked me the same question that Steven just asked, like, hey, do you think people are going to be upset? And I said, yeah, of course, they're going to be upset. And at the end of our conversation, I went, I don't know why they wouldn't just offer like an upgrade kit so you can actually make yours look like the new one, because I actually think people would pay for that. I'm one of well, those people I, that would do that instead of buying the new cabinet. Yeah, I, I, I actually had talked uh, before even Arcade One Up was selling their machines uh, way back when Harold was still with them, talking about doing like a store. And having you know upgraded parts stuff like that and i actually do think that's something in their mindset so i wouldn't be surprised if we did see a store opening up for that exact uh thing i wouldn't be surprised as long see when glenn says that steven i feel like i feel like he's hinting towards something he yeah knows. yeah <laughs> well and it's like it's like i said to him as long as they fix the shipping the shipping time is killing them like there's there's no yeah. reason that you you're buying a knockoff joystick that Amazon can give you in like 24 hours and even sometimes same day where I'm at, that it takes you three to four weeks to ship a $15 joystick and, and the prices on it, $12 to ship a joystick that costs $15. Yeah. Like they, they got to fix some things with that. Yeah. You know, I don't know. That's just my two cents on that, but I would like to see that PCB though. I, with pack mania on it. And, um, I, I would, I'd swap it out of mine in a heartbeat. Well, don't ever forget about uh, Barry, Barry Sneaky. You never know what he can come up with. That's true. That's true. Yeah, that is true. So um, I don't have a link handy, but that reminds me of something. Somebody just messaged me because I was reading the comments here on YouTube and people were saying about $75 cabinets. Um, console kits, if, oh, you, if right. you're not following oh, yes. him, let's How talk about that. How did we forget about that? I, How you know, did we forget about that's that? That's why we got the community telling us. I, ah. I, check it. So I don't know which one of you guys want to go through. I'll see if I can dig up the link if one of you guys want to take it so I can get off camera and actually dig and find well, the link. If you want to take it, you you were the latest guy <laughs> coming in. You could take it. Yeah, here. Uh, do you want me to put it in the, um, is there a chat? Can I just throw it in the chat? Or? Yeah, yeah. You could. Well, actually, if you're on Facebook, if you go to facebook.com slash the tech buzz. Um, okay, hold on. Okay. And then you'll see the live video if you scroll down on, on, the, on the timeline. Throw it in that chat so I can click on it, and I'll pull it up as you're talking about it. Um, the console kits is like a is like an angel here. This was this is fantastic what he did. It's, this is amazing. He basically wrote. Where do I throw it? Do I throw it in the? 
send message area or you can send it in the message oh. to me and then I'll, I'll throw it in. That's, That's fine. Yeah. yeah, you can do that. So, so what console kits did here, he wrote a script in, in the browser. Normally you would go to like Brickseek and you put in your SKU and you try and find a store that's got the product with the price. You go to his link that he, this guy, console kits, man, bless you. You put uh, your zip code in and it automatically shows all the stores, what the price is, and if it's in stock or not. So if it's a $75 Space Invaders or a Centipede near you, it'll tell you what store has it. Here we go. This is amazing. He did this all by himself on his own time for the community. And huge, huge props out to console kits for doing this. Yeah. So, so I, don't put... wanna, I don't want to tease anything, Glenn, but it's even going to look more pretty soon, too. Like it looks it's amazing anyway, but he's got a little project. To, I, hopefully I'm not spilling any beans, but it's going to look really cool, too. <laughs> <laughs> Spill them beans. So so he's going to so he's going to watch this video and because people are going to be like, they're talking about your thing. And then he's going to hear Ralph go, he's going to make this, <laughs> make this thing look so much better. He's going to hear Ralph. Yeah, well, probably. Just, it's just impressive that he did this at all. Uh, I mean, I. I'm not that much of a program anymore. Years ago, basic, sure. But this is amazing to me because using BrickSeek sometimes was a pain and a hit and miss. This is just putting your zip code and you just see everything. That's fantastic. Yeah, there will be wives, girlfriends, and partners everywhere pissed off because of this website. <laughs> uh, if it's not, you know, uh, P Dub put a picture up yesterday. He got like a $75 uh, uh, Space right, Invaders. Or... Oh, oh, space Invaders. It? Yeah, Space Invaders. And I, and, and I commented, I says, your wife's taking this picture as your last picture, right? Because she's going to kill you because now you got another cabinet. <laughs> well, the way to think about it is he could have spent 300 or 200. He got up to 75 bucks. She should be kissing him. I, yeah. See, I like the way you're thinking. Now, if we could get sp <laughs> if we could get Star Wars down that cheap, hey, I'd be I'd be down with that. Then I'd figure a place I'll, to put it. <laughs> I'll I'll have Kim call you, Glenn, so you can explain it to her. I will I will take care of it, Ralph. Man, I'll talk to Kim. Don't you worry. Okay, okay. she likes you though already. She saw you. I can't remember in one of these live streams. You said something really nice, and she's like, "I really like that Glenn guy." I'm like, "So maybe I could actually have her call you to help me I'll out." I'll take a care bit. of it, man, because you're you got the same. All three of you guys have the same problem. Well, two of you guys. Now I've still got my still got my vertigo. You both you guys <laughs> have the same problem that I have. Is our hobby is. It's not, always, it's not really always expensive, but there's a lot of it. I mean, yeah. you can't just have one copy of Pac-Man. You're going to have the arcade, the handheld, the watch, the belt. It's just it's, it's yeah. sick. But, you, but it's better than going out to the bars. Yes. Tell her that, too. I'm not at the bars, not at the strip club. I am in the basement talking to two other men. Yep. What's better than that? <laughs> <laughs> that just went down a Leave hole very fun. bad. <laughs> Glenn, leave it to Glenn to put it into perspective. <laughs> well, you know, what What got me, in, like, I got into this because I used to do build Hackintoshes out of PCs just because I could do it. I have Mac computers, but it was something that I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. And then I started finding, like, ETA Prime. He's throwing Raspberry Pis in these At One games. Uh, or, I'm sorry, the Arcade One Up games. And I'm like, oh, well, I could do that. You know, I know enough about Linux. I can play around with this. And so... Despite, and I know I'm going to take flack from this, I have about 10,000 games on one of these. And people are like, well, why do you want so many games on it? And it's when like people come over, that's like the party game, right? They'll say, oh, do you have this game? Yep, it's on there. And so it's nostalgia for them because they can go and play this game that they've never, or they haven't played in like 20 years. And I think that's the best part of all this is is being able to do those types of things and and the community bringing it all together. So I don't know. I think I think it's fun. My, my son's over there having a ball on the on the legends. Uh, well, it's keeping the history alive. Yeah, you know that's it's important. Yeah. No. Oh, you. Oh, nice. You moved over to what's he playing? Oh, see, so he's trying to figure it out. Well, he was he was saying he wanted to play Killer Instinct, but I don't know if he knows how to go into the. the okay. Well, go ahead. Go into Steam if you if you know how to do it. So I have him. He's actually he was switching for us over there. Believe it or not, we have like this complicated setup. So look, he can switch to he, any he can camera. Control. If he wants to be really excited for about <laughs> three minutes, play Iron Commando. Iron Commando is like one of those games where you play it and it becomes a really big buzz kill pretty fast. Is that, it's like very, very, very competitive. Is that like <laughs> one of the built-in games that he can go to? It's it, it's a built-in game. Yeah. Up, it's it, it's go up it's to brutal. Iron Commando. Go up it's built in, Daniel, instead of Steam. Go up, hit the B button for back. There you go. And then uh go back to all your game list. Actually, put put the game's yeah. full screen so we can actually read it here. 
I think he was. I think it's one page up. I think one page up. Oh, he's on arcade. Oh, he's on arcade net. That's why oh, I don't see it. Keep going backwards. Go back to the actual built-in games. One more. Nope, the other way. Nope, the other way. The other other way. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. All right. Go. Go, down not, to, go down to the games one. and go one page over. Now go to the. No, net. it's right there. Actually. Oh, right there. Right, right next there. to Big Run. One up and then to the left. What's it? What's it called? Uh, Iron Commando. He other way. Other go, left. Go the other way, buddy. Might right. Oh, it might be his right. I don't know. <laughs> it's called Iron, it. Iron Commando. Yes. I All tried right. to do a live stream go ahead, this go game once and it's so repetitive. Yeah, you can play Steam after that. Go into that. Can you go full well, can you go full screen on that, Daniel? No, switch it. Switch it on your controller. No, 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 not that, not that, not that, not that. He's <laughs> he was gonna go change the the aspect ratio. No, 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 change it. Hit your button there to your your little controller. No, your little your your stream deck. Now, the the controller over by two player. Oh my goodness. No, that's the power button. <laughs> that's gonna shut that thing right off. How how you switch your cameras? Oh, he's like oh that one, you know. Go to full screen. I don't have control. There, there we go. So that because I don't have control oh, yeah. over, over that. That's coming through as an NDI source. Yes. Over. Oh, so, cool. So okay, so with Wirecast, I have a bunch of different cameras that are over there where I do my YouTube videos at, and a microphone set up. Like I can actually unmute his microphone there, um, and then I have a Stream Deck connected to a MacBook Pro which is running Wirecast, and he's able to switch any of those sources in Wirecast with that, and then I'm taking Wirecast out with NDI over to this studio where That's cool. we're sitting here, and then I can pull it up as a source. So he, it's it's kind of like a switcher within a switcher. Yeah, that's neat. So so then we Use can, the we source. Can yeah. So this is, this is the game you were talking about, right? Yeah, it's cool for about the first couple levels, and then it's just really repetitive. It's like it's like it's trying to be a good side-scrolling beat 'em up, but it's just it's so 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 redundant. And the music just the music's cool in the beginning, but then you realize the music is actually the same music just over and over and over again. It, <laughs> yeah, it tried. It was it was an okay it was an okay effort, but uh, but I know Glenn is a big Streets of Rage fan, and that's like oh, I love that. Me, so yeah. yeah. Well, we're gonna the have soundtrack to soundtrack alone. We're gonna have to set up a time where we can get. Um, you, Doug, and and uh, Glenn on, and I'll just kind of switch around and just kind of commentate, and we'll do kind of uh, uh, where we can pull different games up and, and talk about it, where you guys can be kind of in your high-end yeah, areas, so and then I can get him to play the games that we want to talk about <laughs> or something like that. Um, I think it would be fun. I think, I think, what do you guys think in the community? Do you guys think this would be good? I mean, we could play, I could pull it up arcade, Arcade one up. I think I can pull that in with NDI too. I think I have another device that I could hook to it if we had to. And I know you probably have console set up, right? That you could pull in. Yeah, I have a whole bunch. I have a whole HDMI. I don't, I'm not as sophisticated up here, but I have a, but an HDMI switcher that goes to my Elgato. So I have like eight or ten things I can kind of put up oh, at one time. I got I got a good old Connexent uh, 320 by 220 uh, <laughs> black and white webcam I could stick up and put on my console. <laughs> I, I I also have set up on a on a MacBook uh, MacBook Pro my like my personal one. I have uh, Open EMU. Oh yeah, Open EMU is actually really cool on a Mac. So it's one of the easiest. So if anybody wants to get into kind of playing so easy, stuff, yeah. you can see all the consoles. But we could pull in, what I'm saying is we could pull in any of the games if we wanted to talk about them. I have it pulled. Yeah, that'd be cool. So we could do something like that. And I've got controllers under here. And I'm I was supposed to tell you on YouTube, YouTube chat, V uh, Gotch, Gotchman, V Gotchman, I think that's, I hope I'm not butchering it. He says, Ralph, you need to go pick up your son. <laughs> does he does he does he do this to you on on your on your live streams does he like keep you like on t on time yeah there was one that i did where i rushed home and i knew i had like 10 minutes to make a video and it was something that i was like so i i, I got so i don't know i couldn't get my brain off the topic and i had to do it and I, and I got home and I did it and I was like, and I go, all right, how much time do I have left? And he's like, you have two minutes to go and get your son. And so, um, but I wonder, so something, just, something just came in my mind that I thought about that was interesting. So 
Uh, and it had to do with the virtual pinball. If we have one second, I want to mention it. And it's, it's I'm yeah. tying it back to like your son. So I don't know if you've ever had your son try virtual pinball before, but I kind of laughed when I saw um, the commercial for that virtual pinball unit because it has a bunch of kids around it. And my son and all his friends, they lose interest in the virtual pinball in like 20 seconds. It's really? sad. It hurts my, it like hurts me inside. <laughs> I, sh I set it all up. I got a tracked mode on. There's lights and all these things. And I'm like, there's no way they're not going to love this. 20, 20 seconds and they're done. It's oh, really sad goodness. to me. <laughs> so I, They need Fortnite character pinball. That's what they need. I was going to say. Uh, Minecraft. I was just going to oh, say. Oh, if they had that, they'd be all about it. He had his um, he had his seventh birthday here. And we had it in the studio uh, arcade area here. And the kids came down and they were like, what is this? And it's like, well, these are arcades. And some of the kids knew what arcades were. And they're like, look at these games. I've never heard of these games. And I'm like, oh, man, I feel so old, you know, because he's yeah. he's used to it because Rampage was the first machine we got. And I said, my brother and I, we played that a lot at like Chuck E. Cheat. Well, it was Showbiz Pizza then. We played that all the time there. So he goes to school and he's like, I got a Pac-Man arcade. And the kids are kind of looking at him like, what's what's Pac-Man? Like, I. You know, oh, yeah, I know. So he's, yeah, that, I don't know. Kills me inside of it, but... Daniel, have you ever played? Have you, here, let me unmute your mic. Sit down. Have Have you ever played? Honestly, do you know? Have you ever played? I don't know if you've ever played pinball. Go to your main camera, your main camera. Have you ever played pinball that you know of? Um, I don't think you have. No, no, no. Um, but he knows Fortnite. Yeah, but um, two kids on my bus, they said that I do not have an arcade in my basement. Uh oh. They were just making fun of me. Oh, well, well we, know, know. we know the truth, man. We know the truth. <laughs> so I think, I think it'll be interesting for him. Like, I'll put him on the pinball because I'll either pre order it, I'll see what happens here, but. Um, or I'll wait till it comes out and somebody else looks at it and says, uh, yeah, get that. Or, no, don't get it. He is seven. He just turned seven, and I have a daughter that's eleven. Okay, so. so my so my son's eleven, but he he was way more into. So I had like a um this extension arcade. I, I don't know if you guys remember that that name brand, but they still sell stuff. I think they sell it under Rec Room Masters now. But extension arcade, I had built this big main machine, and my son, when he was around your son's age, he loved it. He would play it all the time, and then I don't know what happened. Like somewhere along the way, um, unless I bring him into wanting to play a retro game he's not just gonna he's not gonna be all excited and want to do it so it's but he will if i kind of bring him into it but before he just he'd be like oh cool it was like this mysterious thing and now it's just yeah it's yeah. not as cool to him i guess because it's not Fortnite. dad's toy well the the first thing yeah. he says to me the first thing he says to me when i got the legends he goes oh there's blizzard on there he says can i play Fortnite on there i'm like you don't play Fortnite on an arcade cabinet you just don't. He's like, well, uh, no, Epic. I'm sorry, Epic. I was wrong. I don't play Fortnite, so I, I don't know nothing about it. It's. He's like, it's got Epic on it, and I and I'm like, okay. And he says, can I play Fortnite on this cabinet? So so Ralph, have you played Fortnite on there? <laughs> can he play Fortnite so actually, on this cabinet? It's funny that you. It's funny that you asked that. So um, he's gonna tell you. PK at, yeah, I think it was PK at At Games. It was someone at At Games that asked if I played Fortnite, and i was like no i don't play Fortnite, but my son does and uh so the funny thing is i haven't even told them this yet they're like will you would you be willing to showcase Fortnite?" and i was like well it's not really something that i would put on my channel but I'll, I'll put my son in front of it and see what he does and he was like he said this so i haven't told him this yet he goes why the heck would i play Fortnite on this when i could play it on my uh, big tv out there that's what he said <laughs> he, he was honest no, he's that, like i know play it on this <laughs> but he wants he wants to play it on there he he did he did say he wanted to play it. he he wants it on his he wants it on his switch he's got it on his the um xbox one so yeah, he, he i, I play it i just i hide i find a spot to hide i'm always the second guy alive because i hide like a little turd i'm in a corner of a room everyone else gets killed off and then they finally get me so i'm always number two i Do you I, know what they call that glenn do you know the term i want to know if steven knows it do you know the oh, term I do. I do know the term it's called uh, glenny being a glenny no, that's funny but no you know what it's called isn't it no. the same thing that they uh, that they called when you were uh when you're doing call of duty online and you hide it's called camping 
Yeah, like you're. That's what they oh, call. I'm a on, camper on, on Call oh, of yeah, Duty. I am too, man. I'm camping until someone kills me, or I oh, try yeah. to at least. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, no shame, Glenn. I can't do. Nope. No, I'm like I'm like this in a corner, just hiding, just waiting, <laughs> and I make it to, to the end of the game. That's it. I'm always number two. I, I was, that didn't sound good. I was <laughs> anyway. I was never good with Call of Duty online either. And I, they used to call me respawn because it, that's that's just how you just <laughs> always respawning. So. But I was playing so with guys I, online. Since you guys like to play retro games, can I can I I want to see if I'm in if I'm in the same like if you guys have the same feeling toward this. I feel like when games got beyond like three to six buttons, that's the, that's how I gauge if I can play the game or not. <laughs> After yep. six buttons, I'm out usually. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you. A true Mortal story. Combat. I, I Mortal Kombat's owned... my limit. <laughs> I, yeah. I never had like uh, the Xbox for like the longest time. And a uh, guy I work with who's much younger than me, half my age, he was playing uh, Halo. And I'm like, oh, that looks good. But he gives me the control. I'm like, what the hell? You got this here. You got to do this, this, this. It took a while. I got used to it. But I agree. Once you get over those six buttons, I guess my, my genome and age is just too much. <laughs> it's not good for me. It's amazing seeing your, kid, seeing your kids play it, though. I mean, they just do that. That's nor totally normal to them. So, so somebody in the face right, but then, but then put them on a Pac Man or a Breakout, and they can't play it, right? <laughs> right? Somebody That's in the true. on the Facebook chat, they're asking about. Um, do we have any ideas for uh, light guns? It went somewhere. It was there a few seconds ago. But you did a video just recently, and I I apologize, I haven't watched it yet with the cowboy hat with the light the light gun. That's I remember the. Oh, I actually never did that video. I was just a yeah. It, oh, it's I, just it a was, picture. Um... That's why I didn't see it. Yeah, that that was actually um, I was kind of messing around because there was this thing that came out a couple of years ago. It was called the uh, Buck Hunter Sure Shot HD, which was a little box. Actually, I have it in the room somewhere with me. It's a little box and you put it on top of your TV, any TV, and it connects HDMI. So all the Buck Hunter games are already loaded on it. And then you calibrate it on your LCD. It actually works really awesome. I wanted to see if it would work on the uh smaller screen on the on the legends ultimate and it works obviously it just needs an hdmi you know input but um i was surprised it actually worked pretty good on a street on a screen that small um but yeah it was just that was just kind of a goofy thing i just thought i would do but uh i was i guess i was bored that night i don't know kim kim i think kim fell asleep and i was like and i didn't have the kids <laughs> that night so i just said what can i do tonight <laughs> And I, it was sitting in my closet forever, and I was like, I don't really even like Buck Hunter, but it was pretty fun. I, I'm terrible, by the way. Um, so if you are gonna hunt deer, yeah, like don't bring me with you. He, I, we just <laughs> so, got him. We just got him that for the Switch, that Buck Hunter, right? How do you play it though on a Switch? I, I guess you put the controller inside of the the gun. Actually, opens up like one of those old double barrels oh. that you open it up and and he, and he puts it in. But yeah, he plays it on the Switch. Oh. Uh, oh, hmm. I, I hunt for real. I hunt for real. I don't, no, I don't play on the... real, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I'm terrible at buck hunting, so that's worth <laughs> So, but, anyways, I think that's, I think it's kind of interesting um, with the light gun situation because of the whole LCD thing. So, it'll be interesting to see what right. everybody brings out, you know. Yeah. There well, should be Glenn, something coming down the pike. I mean, oh, Glenn, yeah, we are, yeah. We are. Yeah. We are. Go ahead, Ralph. No, I was gonna say, did you see the PDP Mars and the? And I'm sure you already, you're probably, I bet you probably invested in the Sidon thing, right? Sidon uh, or Sidon or how do you say it? Uh, no, actually, I haven't yet. But what I was, what I was gonna say was that the light gun technology, um, we we have something we're to be coming out with. It's just it, it's in our pipeline. But I think oh, light no. gun games. I, I hope that like Arcade One Up or other companies come out with that too, because that's a, a genre that's been gone for a while. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of good games with those light guns, like you know Terminator Two, Operation Wolf, House of the uh, Dead. Aliens, ha House of the Dead, exactly. So we we actually partnered with a a, a very big company uh, with very good technology. They agreed to license us the tech, so we're just going to basically make the the guns. We may have a couple different types of guns that you can pick from. Um, but that's still going to be after the Star Wars. We still have to get the Star Wars yoke off the ground, so it'll be after that. Well, Glenn, if if I'm just saying right now, the one gun cabinet that I've always wanted to own, but it's just the actual arcade one is just too big, and I know that I know that Kim would literally kill me if I had it. And you <laughs> said it. I would love to have the Terminator Two yes. uh, cabinet in my house. That is so, so good. I, that was such a great game, wasn't it? Awesome. Like it was hard as hell in that one scene. 
where you have the van um and you you, you can't let the helicopter hit the van that was actually right. that's probably the hardest parts of the game but but the game is awesome i love that game so much and you can't play i mean they it came out on the consoles with, you know with the joystick controller and stuff like that or it's just not the same you, you need to have a good weighted light pistol you, you do yeah and um those are games that right now are not really you can play them with a the mouse i guess but it's not the same yeah i agree so, so there's a pitbull comments in youtube he goes OMG, I'm older than all of you. I used to play CS Source and 1.6 for cash. I rocked that, he says. I don't even is know what the, that is. I don't know I don't what know that what is. Either. Is this the same Pitbull that watches my channel? I wonder if it is. Does he look like he's really buff in his little thumbnail? Uh, let me look. <laughs> yes, he's showing the shoulder shot. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome yeah so I didn't he said that old. Okay. he goes yep he wrote <laughs> yep <laughs> yeah, um, if he's that if he's that much older he's in way better shape than me that's for sure i gotta get some tips on maybe like help being healthy from him or something <laughs> he said that's me <laughs> so there you go that's cool no that's that's this is something that i think these arcade companies have given new life to retro i mean some of this other stuff like I have a, like like the the Nintendo the cheap Chinese knockoff thing that's but it works but that that was kind of the start of it all and then when I saw these cabinets it was like oh you know so yeah it's just that it's that little drug you know they they tantalize you with a little bit and then your habit gets a little more uh, you know expensive next thing you know you're you're like he said you're, like Ralph said you're gonna get killed by your wife because I you know I keep saying I want to get rid of one of the couches and she's like no the couch is not going. <laughs> down here i'm like it's the, it's down here i could add another six or seven cabinets over there if i got rid of that dang couch is this a base is this like a basement studio yeah so right there you can kind of see that that's some of mine <laughs> they go down that whole wall and then i got the consoles oh, wow. and stuff in the center but if you look to the right there you can kind of see i'll see if i can uh if i can move the the camera here a little bit and and then you guys and there you go there's base. there's he's space. sitting there but I have, <laughs> but I have a little basketball uh, thing that's right oh, behind him. Yeah, yeah. So some lady was selling that oh, for like a lot down there. 20... Oh, that couch! That couch has got to go. That couch. That's what I said. Yeah. Get that couch out of that's there. That's what I. There's two couches there. There's one right on the other side of the basketball. Daniel, go right, go I to the we'll big couch. Bean bags, two bean bag yes. chairs, scrap couch. Go. Yeah. <laughs> so I could put like six <laughs> cabinets along that back wall there, where all those, where all those, the the two couches, the, the one couches. And then, yeah. like I said, it right now I have them. They're all going across. Well, right here is the Legends. I'll show you. The Legend is like right there next to the where he's where the boom, where <laughs> the the boom mic. Track, yeah. yeah, he's right by my workstation there, where I have the mix, <laughs> the audio mixer, and everything like that. I love that uh, you have all lit marquees on them. That's that's good. It, my OCD would have been it would have been hard to uh, look at if they were in all lit. So uh, uh, yeah, appreciate. I was I wasn't going to, but after I got golden tea and it had the lip marquee, I was like, yeah, I got to get it. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Oh, you go a lot further over. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's that's the whole wall. There's three cabinets there. It's the turtles, golden tea and final fight. But I've got cameras in the way, so I didn't want to because then I'm over here. If we turn this completely around. Oops, let's go this way. And my son. This is a big thing. space. It is a big space. Wow. And, I, and then I have another a whole nother room for. um a music room that I have, but, um, but yeah. And then I just put like a bunch of lights. people ask me all the time where I get those lights. I'm like Amazon. <laughs> so, so cool. So, but yeah, that's, that's kind of my thing, but that's why I said I need to get back there. Glenn is what I was talking to you earlier. I don't know if you can kind of see it is where my whole star Wars shelf is back there. And I've got up on the wall, I've got action figures that are still in the box. Nice. So I want to put my, I want to put a star Wars cabinet back there, but, thing is i gotta convince my wife we we need a vader movie come on disney vader yeah. movie so <laughs> we'll pay for that oh it's one of those things but uh looks like we are gonna get almost uh, almost two hours out of this we're on about an hour, right, so hour we did it twice. We, what are we gonna do i i don't see the community complaining they're just kind of like hey this is good we like it um but anything else that we didn't cover yet i think overall we we got uh Console kits. I think his was the last thing that we seen this week. Right. Any, anybody else got anything that they they seen? Um, 
I'm trying to think. Anybody well, in the Ralph, chat room? Uh, know? Well, Ralph, since you joined, how, how do you feel about the last firmware update on the uh, oh, the legend? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, no, it's good. I um, you know, one of the things that that I was looking forward to is them fixing that one bug, that exit bug. So that oh, was good. awful. And then um, so I, so the funny thing is about the I, I've never been one that that uh, I'm not super particular about. Only certain games do I care necessarily about the aspect ratio, and it does not bother me that that it's that it's not sixteen nine stretched. It actually would probably bother me more if it was automatically 16.9 stretch. So I didn't really view that as a thing I cared that much about. But I know a lot of people in the community, they, they, they don't care. They would rather have it take up the whole screen. So I get right. that. So I think it's cool. For, I just think it's cool that you have the option now, right? If I really care about original aspect ratio, that's then I can do that. And if I care, if I don't care, then I can stretch it. So I, that's such a weird religious thing, though. I mean, there are people that that when I show like a Pandora's box or something, they'll go, they'll, they will comment on my YouTube, you know, it's stretched, um, and then they'll use something like uh, like I'm out or something or a uh, hard pass <laughs> like that. I'm like, all right, well, if you don't like it stretched, you don't like it stretched, but that's a religious thing in my opinion. Some people it's, don't it's, care. It's video guys, though, honestly, because I, I'll be honest, I probably couldn't play it like that because in the video world, it'd be like stretching this video, like stretch, and it, yeah. It's one of those things. It's you just can't do it. It's I don't I don't know. It, but it's, it, but it's, it's nice to have the like you said. It's, it's just nice to have the option if you wanted it. It's better to have yeah. it than not. Oh, we're having Thanksgiving yeah. here, and I'm gonna set it up, and I I would make it full screen for the kids because they're not gonna care. Yeah, they won't know or care. No, yeah, they're not gonna. <laughs> I, and I would make it as big as possible for the for the kids. I mean, they're you know what I'm saying. So, but for me personally, I'd rather just have the side art. That that's where the OCD. You didn't talk about lit marquees. That's where OCD kicks in with me. I couldn't, I couldn't wait till we had access to be able to do that. That that drove me nuts having all that dead space on the side. So I have one that was kind of interesting. That maybe I feel like Glenn would be the closest to this one. But uh, I I so I did, I actually didn't notice this. This was something that that P Dub said, and then I was like, I don't know if that's right. And then I looked into it, and I was like, oh, it is. It's partially right. So I didn't know that. Because, and this is what they said, but because of uh, packaging requirements that Walmart had, that cabinet is one inch less deep than mm -hmm. the Sam's Club. Um, it's not height. It's just the depth. Right. And I just wonder, like, what, what would it really have made that much of a difference? But I can I know Walmart's really particular about how much space anything takes up because to them, yep. that's they're not moving product and they, you know, they could fit more stuff. And so I, I guess I get that. But I wasn't aware of that. And, and he brought that up. I was like, oh, man, that's kind of interesting. So. I don't know if you knew anything about that, Glenn, because I know you worked on like the early alpha stuff. Yeah, it's it's they're just weird that way. They have the certain requirements and they they don't budge on it. And that's just one of the weird things that they wanted. And yeah. they, they had how to meet powerful, that criteria. How powerful of a company when you can go, can you make one version of your product that's an inch, you know, less deep? I mean, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> it, it, it is. But, you know, I, like anything, Walmart is the Sears Roebuck of, you know, years ago. You know, back then. You wanted to get your product in Sears, and if you did, you knew your product was going to do well. And that's what Walmart is today. So if Walmart says, listen, it's nice. I want three quarters of an inch off because blah, blah, blah. They have to do it. And yeah. and they did. How do you guys think? Um, I mean, this is probably a good question for, I think, both of you guys, but I... I, I was a little bit like, um, you know, I, I got the chance to see the Legends Ultimate at E3, and it was a, it was kind of still in like, to me, more alpha, it had some issues, but it was pretty cool. And I thought, wow, it's it's got a lot of potential. And then, um, I don't know, then they got a little wishy-washy with data out to the public where I felt like it was confusing. And so people weren't sure what they were going to get. And everyone was all hung up on the cost per month. But I feel like at this point, because of all the effort they've put into it, there's so much interest. I just wonder, you know, it's hard to tell sometimes how well it's doing because we're part of these communities where we see all these people posting pictures about buying them. And, and, and it seems like the hype is huge. But I just wonder from you guys' perspective, do you think it's doing fairly well? Because I actually, I came around. I really enjoy it. I've actually been playing it more than any other cabinet I have right now. Yeah, they, they really, we talked about this a little bit before that, you know, Ad Games had a bit of a, a stigma associated with it. And I think with this product, they've really turned it around. I mean, the product, as you said yourself, it's, it's enjoyable. You'll spend time on it. You you, you want to engage it. Um, all I could say is anyone that I've talked to, either in the community or out of it, who belong to like a Sam's Club, the, the things are going off the shelves pretty quick. You know, people say that they're leaving stock. 
But then again, I think the, the uh, Sam's Club where I went, there was four. And when I, I took one, uh, there was there three at that time. So I guess we'll really find out soon enough. I, I know that Arcade 1-Up and, and At Games will never give official numbers. They just, they just yeah. won't. They just said we, we, we were selling them. Uh, so it's going to be hard for us to really judge that. But I think the big telltale will be after the holidays because that's when you'll see the forums and everything else start you know, getting hit big time at that point. Um, I do think people will be overall pretty satisfied with either one that they purchase. Um, yeah, so. But they definitely will not be. This is a, the key point is because there's such a stigma sometimes at, at games. I don't think anyone will be disappointed with that unit from uh, at games. I, I think they will be more than pleasantly surprised like we all were. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I'm I'm in the same boat, Ralph. I've I've unless I have people over. Like last weekend, we had about eight people over, and we had the and I didn't have the legends yet. That was probably the last time I really got hardcore on these on these uh, arcades. We've all been over on the legends, and that's that's partially due to I guess Steam. That's what I I mentioned that earlier in the, yeah. in the show. I, just because like the new Killer Instinct and. You know, pinball, that's how I've been playing pinball is with the Steam pinball on there, just kind of using Z and C. Um, but honestly, I still like these. I, I And we were talking about, I'd still buy more. It's it's just that uh, I, I think that the Legends cabinet from in my area, people are looking for it. And I'm in eastern Ohio. So there was three within a 350 to 500 mile radius, according to her her thing at the sam's club when she looked it up that's why i drove to canton to get mine that's about an hour from me oh, wow. so but I, but the at games stigmata yeah i i kind of agree with glenn i think time's gonna tell and they're and he's right they're not gonna tell us anything but i think we're there's more believers than non-believers now because when this thing yeah. first came out everybody's just like stay away from it it's at games don't buy it don't go near it don't touch it and a lot of people have have changed their mind on that right and, and and honestly they weren't wrong in saying that from past experience i mean i own all of their products pretty much and for the price point they were okay but a lot of people expected more especially when it came to sega part the sega genesis yeah. emulation streets of rage you know we we're all fans of that game it, it was it was torture playing that game uh on their console so a lot of the stuff was justified but they were very they took this very seriously they did they knew that if they're going to bring something out at this price point, it had to be good at, at a minimum, if not better. And it's absolutely good. And with the ability to upgrade that firmware, it's becoming better with each time. And, and I do want to tell everybody, if you haven't done this, this is something I could show you guys. Um, P-Dub put me wise to this earlier this week. But if you guys go over to Walmart right now, if you have a Legends cabinet online, you can buy just about every one of those blast dongles for about five bucks. So I, I get it; it's the original oh, yeah. Atari one. But but if you want them, I, I bought them yep. just I, just to play around with. I love the Pong one with the wireless paddles. That that thing's very very good. I reviewed that one. I love it. I, I like Pitfall. That was another good game. I I bought that dongle. You can get all four for twenty bucks, because we already have the Pac Man. But I mean, you could get that. But um, right now, like I said, they're all like five bucks on on Walmart.com. If you want to head over there and, and get it, um, no affiliate link. Just go. I don't I don't do that, but <laughs> go right for five bucks. You can't beat it, right? I mean, even if you play it once or twice. So guys, I gotta I gotta get going, but I wanted to because Glenn brought it up. Glenn, did you ever get a chance, or either of you ever get a chance to play the the 2018 version of the? At games Sega flashback. Yes, I have yes, it over I there. Played it. I have it over yep. there. This one this one's actually good. Yeah. It it, it, it is. And it's it's fun. it's funny because Sega, you know, like kind of backed out at the end. And I think they did fine on their own. But again, it was just that stigma that they had, had from the previous ones that I think just soiled it. But that one is pretty good, absolutely, yes. I think you know what was because... interesting though? Yeah, what I'm gonna be kinda interested to see is that um there's a there's several, I don't know, I think in the community there were certain people that just latched on to anything At Games does is just bad, right? And and there was some, like to Glenn's point, there was some truth to some things that just were not very good, especially Sega related. And then, but here's the thing, I think, um, I don't know, with technology and everything, like I don't feel like it'd be fair to judge them based on everything in the past, especially if they're actually making progress. Like now I think it's right. time to go, 
like they have my attention. They have all your guys' attention because they're making these improvements and they're listening to the community. So like right now, I feel like they're doing everything to say, hey, we're here. We're not going anywhere. And we did take this seriously. So, I mean, if they keep continuing on this path, I, I really, truly hope from a technology standpoint that people start um, recognizing them for that outside of our community, which I think they've, they've, they're starting to win over a lot of us, if not, they already have. So right. I'm, I'm excited. I think they're doing really cool things. Ralph, so. before you go, not, not to cut off this conversation, but over on YouTube uh, in the chat room, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Falk, I guess that's how you say his name. He says, Hey guys, thank you for the review and the comments on the digital pinball machine. I am the director of toy uh, sorry, it's chat room, to Toy Shock, and we are very excited about this product and its future. We'll reach out next week with more information. Oh, don't move the chat. Stop. Uh, but we took, <laughs> sorry, people are commenting, but we took great care to make sure that the quality and the play value of this product um, meets consumer expectations. Sorry, just That's need good. to run out now, but we'll come back uh, next week. And he, so they, they saw it so Hopefully we get some more information on that as far as specs go with it. Cause again, we're just speculating at this point. So was there a part at the end where he said, you get a pinball and you get a pinball. <laughs> no, he didn't say that. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh. Well, you yeah. Sure? <laughs> well, you can go over well, and see I the would chat. I'd like to be able to talk to him and get some, you know, get some information out of him. So uh, fantastic. He was listening again. That's the key we've been hitting lately, getting these companies to engage and they are. Well, let's do this. If you guys don't mind, at least if he wants to go back and watch this or if he's still sticking around, um, I don't care. I'm not one of those guys. Ralph, if you're okay with giving out your email address that you want, put it on the video so that way if they want to reach out, they can. Yeah. So go ahead. Oh, you want me to just say it out loud? Yeah, that'll probably be all right because then if he, oh, he can watch okay. it. It's just... <laughs> Retro, it's just yeah, it's just retro Ralph nineteen eighty, and that's not the year I was born, by the way. Retro Ralph nineteen eighty <laughs> at gmail dot com. I just I just figured in case people, you know, some people don't want to give out their email address, um, you know, with that. Glenn, go ahead. Well, mine is uh, basically uh, Glenn's Retro Show at gmail dot com. Gmail, Google owns us all. What are we gonna do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mine's forwarded <laughs> through Gmail, so. Uh, and it's, you can reach out to me, Steve at the techbuzz.net, but it'd be great. Cause then, you know, you guys could get some videos up. We can get some videos up, um, with that information. I, I think that's only going to, you know, better and it's going to help them sell their product. Right. So if you, if you kind of understand what you're getting into, because it's, it's very vague. If you've been to the site, it's, it's vague. Yeah. There's really nothing there. Yeah. Those kids look happy though. They look like they're having a good time. So. I think I would be happy. Uh, <laughs> I've been I've been one one of these. But wow, well, to what you said before, they were happy it was about twenty seconds worth. That clip is about twenty <laughs> seconds. So, yeah. and then the and then if the video keeps playing, the grandparents push them out of the way, and they go, yeah. oh, "You guys don't know about pinball." That's how you play the game. You gotta do it like this. <laughs> oh my goodness! Don't play Fortnite. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, I know Ralph. You said you had to. You had to jump out. We're yeah, gonna probably really close. Gonna go oh we're, we're gonna Thanks close up shop. About... But um, go ahead and tell if, if everybody knows where they can find you. But my subscribers, my people, probably don't know. This might be the first time they've seen you. Go ahead and let them know where they can find you and and if they want to check out your videos. Sure. Yeah. So on uh, on YouTube, it's just YouTube slash uh, retro forward slash retro Ralph. And, oh, we did um... get that right. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's in there. Yeah, yeah there, I wasn't sure there. if I got. I wasn't sure if I got it right. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, that's it. That's all. That's all you need to do because you can go there and everything's right there. So, <laughs> so thank you so much for having me. And uh, I'm going to get very much in trouble if I don't leave right now. So I hate to go quickly, luck, but this buddy. was really fun. Love we'll, to do it again. We'll have you all get right, on guys. again. We'll have you on again. Appreciate it. Right, See ya. Bye, Ralph. Have a good one. And then uh, also we have uh, Glenn. We'll let you kind of tell us where we think everybody can find you and uh, get in touch with you. Uh, I'm everywhere, my God. Well, if you want to see my YouTube videos, it's just youtube.com uh, forward slash uh, Glenn's Retro Show. Or you could put in a search of Glenn Platamento that'll get you to my YouTube channel. But I'm on Facebook. I have a number of Facebook groups, the official Arcade One Up uh, fan page. I also have the official At Games fan page, the official New Wave Toys fan page, the official <laughs> Super Impulse uh, fan page. The basic uh, fun, which Dang, also dude. goes correct. Yeah, I have a couple. <laughs> and then, of course, I have Glenn's Retro Show Game Gurus, 
So I have just a couple. You, you, you'll see me out there a little bit. Yeah, I mean, so make sure you guys go follow these guys. Um, like I said, these are some of the first few guys um, we you know, that I've stumbled upon when I started venturing down this road of getting into these uh, arcades. And like I said earlier, that's how I found Glenn with his retro spinner. But, um, you know, P-Dub, P-Dub's Arcade, check him out. He's got some really cool videos as well. And Cool Toy, he, I asked him about joining us, Glenn, today, but he had a family get-together, so he wasn't able to, to join us. But, Doug, we're going to have him on in the, in the future and talk with him a little bit. Um, all these guys are great guys, so you definitely want to, you know, subscribe to them on YouTube. Um, you could you can find me, thetechbuzz.net. I have links to everything on my website, thetechbuzz.net, but I'm pretty much the tech buzz everywhere. You can go to YouTube, Instagram. Uh, Facebook and uh, give me a subscribe or a like if you if you care to I'm not one of those guys that are gonna uh, beat that and I have to bring this up because look at the freeze frame of Ralph oh you're saying he didn't leave oh, there, oh he's guys, there he's he's, he's there but this is this is a freeze frame of of Ralph so if anybody wants here I'll even take off the logos if anybody wants to get a nice freeze frame of Ralph and make like some kind of meme with it that's your meme <laughs> so you could say yes I like cool toys or whatever you want to do with ralph and then classic kim's gonna kill me in five yeah seconds. classic yeah there you go the classic <laughs> kim's gonna kill me in five minutes so i'll leave that up for you guys to grab it uh <laughs> he's gonna kill me for leaving that up there <laughs> but that's the way that's the way ralph uh exited out so <laughs> we we're gonna leave that at that but guys, we really appreciate it. Maybe Friday of next week, Glenn. Uh, do you think that that's doable? Possibly. I think I think we could do that, and maybe we'll get it down to an hour next time. Who knows? Well, we're gonna maybe try. Two, maybe we're, three. We're we don't know. Try. Uh, PK is in the house. He said, "Great show." Well, we appreciate it. We were trying to get it to an hour, and then Ralph jumped in, and you know, hey, yeah, uh, I'm not gonna. Let's blame. We'll blame Ralph. It, it's it's content, so we'll put it out there. But we'll get this up on YouTube. I know Glenn's gonna Glenn's gonna put it up on his channel. I'll have it on my channel. Uh, more things to come as at games bring stuff out arcade one up uh, this new pinball company so there's gonna be some cool stuff coming on so we really appreciate everybody hey, stuff forget oh, yeah go ahead real quick don't forget new stuff coming out also from new wave toys they got ah. dragon's lair there's a kickstarter i think this uh, almost over with if you want to grab a dragon's lair uh, quarter scale they're working on that right now and also an asteroid and a missile command so there's a lot of companies still making great products for this holiday season yeah, so we'll got to keep an eye on that. And hopefully, you know, Glenn, if you have more information on that next week, anything else that comes down the line, we'll put it together. So, but guys, if you see something that uh, you want Glenn and I to cover, send us an email. Hit Glenn up, hit me up on Facebook, friend me, whatever. Send it to Glenn. Just uh, something that you want our opinion on, or if we get some of the other guys on, we'd, we'd really like to do that for you guys and, and kind of get that information out. But uh, I had a lot of fun. I, th I think this was a, a good time. I think my son had fun too. He did pretty he good did. over there. He did. He did a good job over there. He went upstairs to eat his dinner. So, uh, I would. I would. But he did good switching and 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 doing his game. Uh, so, appreciate everybody tuning in. We'll see you all Thank next you. time. Uh, right here as we do more of. I guess we'll call it retro gaming. But that'd be probably yep. fair right now. Maybe, we'll, so we'll call it. maybe we should have a contest at some point. Think of a name. But for right now, yeah. we'll stick with that. All right, retro gaming until somebody gives us something else. So, all right, guys. We'll see you later.